Chapter 301 Recovering His Unyielding Character Translator Born to be Blood Ignition Art Jang Yifan's body violently shook. His huge bestial body deflated, becoming extremely wizened in just an instant. He now appeared like he was just skin and bones, appearing even more horrifying than before. In that instant, his strength also exploded to an unprecedented level. Luo Bing's face immediately turned deathly pale. That blood ignition art was a self-harming secret technique that burned away your essence blood in order to temporarily increase your strength. No genius would easily use it, as the sequel was far too terrifying. If you were unlucky, your cultivation base would forever freeze. The higher-ups had harshly warned all core disciples and above that unless it was a life and death juncture, they were not to ignite their essence blood, or the consequences would be severe. But at this time, Jiang Yifan had already lost his reasoning. Long Chen instantly felt his opponent's staff erupt with power, and he was sent flying hundreds of meters. Die. Jiang Yifan roared and charged out. The blood ignition art was only effective for a short period of time. He had to rapidly dispose of Long Chen. Long Chen took a deep breath, raising his saber to point at the heavens. He slowly closed his eyes. When they once more opened, a star had appeared within them. Feng Fu battle armor. A terrifying aura shot out high into the sky parting the clouds and shaking the heavens. In front of that aura, even Luo Bing, a Xi'anshan expert, felt her heart trembling and had an urge to kneel down. That shocked her. Long Chen was releasing a will that wished to annihilate the heavens, one that wished to kill gods and slaughter devils. In front of that will, she felt herself to be just an ant. That will was extremely profound and mysterious. It was something unrelated to cultivation base. Compared to Luo Bing, Tu Fang and the others actually were much better off. That was because they were still in the Haoshan realm, and didn't have her perceptive senses. As for those ordinary disciples, they were far from being capable of sensing what Long Chen's will was. All they could sense was that the current Long Chen seemed just like a god. Long Chen roared, his voice like a raging god's, shaking the entire world. Devil decapitator slashed out. Long Chen's saber directly cut apart Jiang Yifan's staff which was also a spirit weapon. Terrifying key waves sent Jiang Yifan flying. Jiang Yifan vomited a mouthful of blood, but everyone saw that he actually spit out very little blood. The majority of it was broken pieces of his organs. Due to losing his senses and igniting over half his essence blood for greater strength, there was very little blood left within him. After coughing up that blood, he immediately entered a weak state. His power quickly faded and he returned to his original form. Suddenly, a cold saber slashed towards his neck with dense killing intent. Nu, no. Jiang Yifan was horrified. He didn't want to die. Although he was a genius, he had never thought that death would befall him like this. With his death impending, he instinctively shivered in terror. Scram. Just as Long Chen's saber was about to cut off Jiang Yifan's head, a figure shot out from nowhere, a palm slamming into Long Chen's saber. Long Chen felt a huge force hit him. Devil Decapitator was knocked out of his hand and he was sent flying. He felt as if his body was about to explode, vomiting out blood. He saw it was Luo Bing who had attacked him. Such a young age. But you've already fallen onto the devil path. To be so vicious to members of your own sect. Kneel in repentance. Just as Long Chen stabilized. He heard Luo Bing's angry shout. He suddenly felt powerful natural energy lock him in place. It was as if space had frozen around him. The natural energy was mercilessly crushing him. Causing his body to shudder incessantly. It was as if the very heavens were attempting to crush him. His bones were emitting creaking sounds, and they might all break at any moment. Long Chen's fury soared. This vicious woman not only acted shamelessly to save Jiang Yifan, but she was even trying to humiliate him, attempting to shatter his Dao heart. If Long Chen really did kneel, his undefeatable will would be contaminated. In the future, when he tried to advance, it would form a heart devil. Long Chen would essentially be crippled, unable to ever advance through his bottleneck, killing intent sword out of Long Chen. But his entire body was being locked and crushed by natural energy, and it felt as if his body was about to explode. He couldn't even speak. He tightly clenched his fists, and he ground his teeth so hard that blood came out. He stubbornly denied that power, swearing to himself, If I, Long Chen, don't kill this slut, I won't be human. Everything had happened too quickly. No one would have imagined that a prideful Xi'anshan expert would go attack a disciple in blood condensation. By the time Tu Fang and the others sensed something was wrong, they realized they were unable to move anymore. In front of a Xi'anshan expert's natural energy, they didn't have the slightest ability to resist. Long Chen was finally becoming unable to resist. 
His legs were about to snap in two. Just then, space suddenly twisted and a figure appeared out of nowhere. Do you think this is your home? An icy voice rang out. Ling Yanzi suddenly appeared in front of Luo Bing. And in that instant, Luo Bing realized she was unable to move. She could only watch as a large hand slapped her heart across the face. Boom. She was directly sent flying. Ling Yanzi was also a Xi'anchen expert. So even just a random slap of his was backed by natural energy. Luo Bing shot out like a cannonball. Since they were in the middle of a crater, she dug a hole straight into the earth. Others saw a wave of dirt pass over the ground like a torpedo, stopping hundreds of miles away when it met a mountain. That mountain was thousands of meters tall, but it directly shattered to pieces, filling the sky with dust. The pressure on everyone was instantly released. Long Chen was gasping for breath, pain racking his body, feeling as if he might collapse at any moment. How regretful. If sect leader's face slapping technique was at my level, he definitely would have slapped that BTCH to death with a single blow. But that's also good. Leave this enmity for me to revenge. Long Chen sighed. The ground exploded and an extremely disheveled Luo Bing flew out of the ground, rushing straight at Ling Yanzi. Ling Yanzi, you dare hit me. Her voice was extremely mournful, sounding just like an evil shrew. Just as Luo Bing was about to start a fight with Ling Yanzi, she suddenly didn't dare move at all. An icy blade pressed against her throat. You, you've advanced to the mid Xi'anchen realm. Ling Yanzi had only just advanced to the Xi'anchen realm a hundred years ago. Once in the Xi'anchen realm, each advancement was extremely painstaking, especially if your talent wasn't high enough. Luo Bing had broken through to the Xi'anchen realm years ago, but she had still yet to even solidify her own realm, which caused her aura to leak out. Originally, she had thought Ling Yanzi wouldn't be much stronger than she was. That was why she dared to make a ruckus here. However, Ling Yanzi hadn't just broken through to the early Xi'anchen realm, but the mid-stage. He completely suppressed her. Even in her dreams she would never have guessed that Ling Yanzi had only broken through to the mid-stage just less than an hour ago. This place isn't your 36th monastery, but my territory. By humiliating my disciples, are you saying you think I don't dare do anything to you? Ling Yanzi icily said. HMPH. I don't believe you'll do anything to me. Although Ling Yanzi had subdued her, she was still extremely arrogant. Ling Yanzi's cultivation base might be higher than hers, but his monastery was ranked far, far below hers. She wasn't afraid of him. After all, Ling Yanzi's monastery was ranked 108th, the last place of all the monasteries. But her 36th monastery wasn't the same. There were actually many lower ranking monasteries that fawned over them and listened to their orders. Furthermore, they even had relationships to the higher ranking monasteries as well. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brazenly barged their way in here. Long Chen, you can decide. If you want, I will immediately cut off her head, said Ling Yunzi lightly. His voice was completely calm, but it was filled with undoubtable determination. Long Chen had never imagined Ling Yunzi would be so heroic and dare kill Luo Bing. She was a Xi'anchen expert, and if she was killed, then Ling Yunzi would have caused a calamity for himself. The super monastery would immediately send down their punishment and Ling Yanzi wouldn't even be able to run. And yet, Long Chen could sense Ling Yanzi's determination. He knew that as long as he nodded, Luo Bing's head would fall to the ground. The entire crowd was deathly silent, looking in horror at Ling Yanzi, Luo Bing, and occasionally Long Chen. They felt as if huge rocks were crushing their hearts, making it hard for them to breathe. None of them had thought that a battle between two disciples would incite two Xi'anchen experts to interfere. If Long Chen really did nod his head, then that really would be an enormous matter. Tu Fang was panicked inside. He had no idea how his wise and far-sighted sect leader, who always did his work calmly and steadily, had suddenly become like this. He didn't know that the current Ling Yanzi had already recovered his original unyielding character. He wouldn't even care about his death. So why would he care about the consequences? Let it be. For a grand sect leader to kill this BTCH would ruin your image. Long Chen shook his head. Long Chen wanted to nod his head. This vicious woman had tried forcing him to kneel and to destroy his Dao heart, but he knew that doing so would cause a disaster for Ling Yanzi. It would be better for him to handle it himself. Long Chen slowly walked over to Jiang Yifen. The current Jiang Yifen was already completely broken and unable to move. Long Chen slapped him across the face, sending him flying to where the 36th monastery's disciples were. You dared threaten my family. The fact that I won't kill you today is your luck, said Long Chen icily. He then turned to Luo Bing. How worthy of a Xi'anchen expert. 
Were all those years of cultivating spent on thickening your face? This was clearly a life and death battle, with the life and death contract already signed. Your excuse of me being vicious really was excellent. Someone with your level of intelligence could reach the Xi'anchen realm? The heavens really have been blind. Long Chen spat on the ground before continuing. Now that I've won, pay up on our original bet. Admit that you're a pig. Luo Bing's face turned chilly, and killing intent flowed out of her as she glared at Long Chen. Chapter 302 Luo Bing lowers her head translator. Born to be if you bet, you must pay. Admit you're a pig, little brat. Keep dreaming. Luo Bing clenched her teeth. Before Long Chen even continued, Ling Yunzi snorted. It'd be best if you agree. HMPH. So what if I refuse? What can you possibly do to me? Sneered Luo Bing. Although being this shameless was incredibly shameful. Wouldn't admitting she was a pig be even more shameful? She would never be able to wash off that kind of humiliation. She would become the lost ock of the super monastery and every monastery affiliated with it. So no matter what, she refused to say that. I can hand over the merit points as well as a spot for the Jiuli secret realm. But that's my greatest concession. It'd be best if you appreciated my kindness. Kindness? Do you remember back when you were humiliating others how happy you were? You bet three things. And not one can be lacking. Don't you like being high and aloof? Stepping upon others? Today, you must admit you're a pig. Long Chen was adamant. Keep dreaming. If I didn't want to, you wouldn't be able to obtain a single one of the stakes. What ability do you think you have? Luo Bing was Xi'anchen expert, and her brother was a sect leader. She didn't believe Ling Yunzi would dare do anything to her. Then sorry, I can only kill you, said Ling Yunzi indifferently. You dare, raged Luo Bing. I'll give you chance to the count of three. If you still refuse to agree, then I, Ling Yunzi, will swear on the sword in my hand to cut off your head. Three, Luo Bing's expression completely changed. She knew Ling Yunzi was a sword cultivator, and that he held the greatest conviction in his sword. Sword cultivators were all lofty, proud figures who didn't easily make vows, let alone vows on their sword. That was their most binding oath. If they couldn't succeed in that oath, their Dao heart would immediately be shattered and they would never be able to advance again. Now, Luo Bing was finally afraid. She finally believed that Ling Yanzi was serious and not trying to frighten her. You're crazy. If you kill me, you won't even be able to run. 2. Luo Bing began to sweat. She could practically sense Ling Yanzi's sword storing up energy, like it was a bloodthirsty fiend about to bite out her throat. 1. I admit my loss. I'm a pig. I admit I'm a pig. Luo Bing's shriek rang through the air. The instant he had shouted one, Ling Yunzi's sword had seemed like an awakened monster, and a terrifying killing intent had instantly exterminated Luo Bing's final strand of courage. Everyone was completely silent. The 36th monastery's disciples were all staring blankly. A Xi'anchen expert had now admitted to everyone that she was a pig. That level of shame. As for the 108th monastery's disciples, they felt incredibly refreshed. This woman had repeatedly said that they were a bunch of resource-wasting pigs, acting like she were a god overlooking ants. But now, she had admitted she was a pig. That was incredibly exciting, and also caused them all to look down on her disdainfully. TCH, a Xi'anchen expert only has this little courage? What a cowardly BTCH. Boss Long Chen was right. No one cares about where a hero comes from, and no one cares about a BTCH's age. Did Boss Long Chen ever say something like that? How come I don't remember that? TCH, that's because you don't pay enough attention. I record everything Boss Long Chen says. Then at the end of each day, I go over everything again. How could you compare to me? Ling Yunzi sheathed his sword. Looking at Luo Bing, he hesitated a moment, but then he didn't say anything. Long Chen knew that Ling Yunzi would disdain speaking to such a BTCH, so he quickly took over. Hey, don't think just admitting you're a pig is enough. Has your pig head already forgotten about the rest? In the face of the 108th monastery's ridicule and her 36th monastery's disciples' disappointment, Luo Bing felt she was going crazy. Here, she flung two badges at Long Chen, who gave them to Tu Fang. Tu Fang examined one of them and confirmed it to be one of the status badges for entering the Jiuli secret realm. As for the other one, that was Luo Bing's personal badge. Tu Fang pressed a couple of things on it, but then his expression became strange. What is it? Asked Long Chen. There's not enough. It's 3,000 merit points short. After thinking about it, that made sense. Luo Bing had held almost 800,000 merit points on her body. That was equivalent to her monastery's yearly income. 
Let's just wave off these 3,000 merit points. Tu Fang smiled slightly and returned the badge back to Luo Bing. Tu Fang might be a magnanimous person, but Long Chen wasn't so willing. Elder Tu Fang, you're too vicious. You're still giving Miss Luo a slap in the face at this time. What? Tu Fang was stunned. She's already admitted she is a pig. After having paid such a huge price, are you really going to refuse to let her pay the rest of her debt so that you can give her a bad name later? Even if you're willing to erase this remaining bit, who do you think she is? She's a grand and amazing Xi'anchen expert. She's a very prestigious person. Would she be so shameless just for that remaining little amount of merit points? Would she take advantage of us, the most poor and desolate country bumpkins there are? Aren't you giving her a slap in the face? What do you think? Senior Luo Bing, Long Chen smiled. Tang Wan'er was trying to hold back her laughter. This scoundrel really was too evil. Luo Bing was too unlucky. No, it should be said that anyone who made an enemy of Long Chen was too unlucky. But seeing Long Chen taunt Luo Bing like this, the 108th monastery's disciples really were getting addicted. Their anger was all being relieved, and it was really just too refreshing. Seeing an arrogant and rude Xi'anchen expert be completely ridiculed by Long Chen to this point, they were all filled with satisfaction. Tu Fang was at first stunned, but he then smiled bitterly. Long Chen really was vicious. Although he wouldn't get offended over just anything, once he viewed you as an enemy, he wouldn't leave you any leeway. But Tu Fang also wasn't dissatisfied with this. Luo Bing was extremely narrow-minded with an extremely vicious nature. Whether you offended her slightly or greatly, she would treat it as a grudge of life and death. At least it was more satisfying to piss her off more. Luo Bing was trembling from head to toe. From a distance, it almost looked like a seizure. She took out three medicinal pills from her ring and tossed them to Long Chen. Then, just like that, she brought her disciples to leave. Long Chen didn't even need to look at those medicinal pills. Just from the fragrance, he could tell they were three connecting flower tendon pills. Although they were also high grade, the alchemist who had refined them was quite a bit inferior compared to him. But since they had just landed in his lap, he wouldn't feel right being picky. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Please feel free to come again. Long Chen laughed amicably. Luo Bing, who had already brought her disciples almost a mile away, finally was unable to bear it and coughed up a mouthful of blood. Long Chen, just wait. This isn't over. Luo Bing shot forward like a phantom, instantly disappearing from their monastery. She really was unable to bear it. She felt like she might explode in anger. The 36th monastery's disciples hastily rushed away as well, carrying their injured fellow disciples. They quickly disappeared from the monastery. They had come so grandly and arrogantly, but they left so hurriedly. The 108th monastery's disciples all cheered loudly as they watched them leave. They then surged over to Long Chen, and without saying anything, they flung him into the air repeatedly. Only like that could they express their excitement. Hey, stop. I don't like being touched by men. Fuck, who was it that just touched my butt? Cried out Long Chen. Everyone just laughed and continued for a while before finally stopping. Long Chen could understand their excitement, so he let them do as they pleased. Only when they had calmed down a bit did he then turn to Gu Yang. I purposely didn't get your golden spear back. This is a trial for you. You'll get it back yourself. I know. I'll definitely get back my weapon, said Gu Yang solemnly. He swore that he would never be lenient with his enemies again. TCH. Fool. Is that all? Cursed Long Chen. What? Gu Yang didn't understand. Guo Ran explained. Boss means that of course you must get back what's rightfully yours. But you can also conveniently get a bit more while doing so. Have you not heard of a certain thing in this world called interest? You still don't understand boss's style. Gu Yang immediately understood. Long Chen was someone who was willing to block blades for his brothers. But also someone who would cut his enemies to pieces with his saber. Long Chen didn't easily make enemies. But once he recognized someone as an enemy he would definitely kill them. Or if they had crossed a certain line, perhaps death would be far too great of a luxury. Thinking of how he had once been enemies with Long Chen, Gu Yang couldn't help sweating. At the same time, he admired Long Chen's forbearance. If there had been someone who had bullied Gu Yang back then, then Gu Yang definitely wouldn't have had the control to then accept that person as a brother. But then thinking about it, Gu Yang couldn't help feeling a bit self-inferior. Perhaps in Long Chen's eyes, he hadn't even had the qualifications to be an enemy. There were several times he had an urge to ask Long Chen whether he had ever considered him to be a true opponent. But in the end, he didn't dare ask. 
Perhaps the response would really be too hurtful. After everyone finished cheering, Long Chen was called over by Ling Yanzi and Tu Fang. Tu Fang asked him what he wanted to do with these merit points. Long Chen directly said to use those merit points to exchange for three connecting flower tendon pills. Each disciple should be able to obtain one. Tu Fang had been thinking of first using those merit points just for the core disciples. After all, the Jiuli secret realm was about to be opened, and raising their power was crucial. But after thinking about it for just a moment, Long Chen didn't bother with that. He was more than capable of refining the three connecting flower tendon pills himself, and the quality would be much higher. In any case, he had nothing else to do at this time. It might be worth it for him to spend the remaining time refining pills for the core disciples. If it was to refine pills for everyone, then that really would tire him to death. But if it was just for the core disciples, it was no problem for him to refine more than enough pills for them. Neither Ling Yanzi nor Tu Fang rejected Long Chen's suggestion to split the medicinal pills amongst everyone. They could tell what Long Chen was thinking. When Long Chen left, Tu Fang and Ling Yanzi exchanged a glance, both seeing the admiration in the other's eyes. It was no wonder all these disciples were willing to follow him. He really did view each of them as his brother. Just as the Zhuangshan Monastery was celebrating the division of the three connecting flower tendon pills, Luo Bing returned to the 36th monastery with her disciples. Brother, you definitely have to help me kill Long Chen. Luo Bing arrived in front of her sect leader. Chapter 303 The First Monastery Translator Born to be the Zhuangshan Super Monastery had a total of 108 monasteries, ranking from 1st to 108th. Those rankings were all decided with a fighting competition once every three years. The ranking a monastery managed to gain would determine how many resources the super monastery would send down. Those resources included secret techniques, medicinal pills, weapons, etc. This kind of distribution was extremely beneficial for the monasteries. It made them work harder and increased the competition between them. However, that was only true for the middle ranking monasteries. The monasteries ranked at the top and bottom were exceptions to that beneficial effect. That was because the strong only became stronger, while the weak only became weaker. With the strong occupying the top positions, they ended up gaining an extremely sturdy foundation. As for Long Chen's 108th monastery, it had been so many years, yet no one had ever appeared who could change their last place ranking. As a result, the super monastery only sent them scant resources. Without enough resources, then no matter how good their disciples were, it would still be difficult to raise them properly. The poor were starving to death, while the rich were almost bursting. But those were the rules. There was nothing the 108th monastery could do about that. If you wanted to eat your fill, then you would have to work hard to increase your ranking. Only by increasing your ranking could you gain more resources. Millions of miles from Long Chen's 108th monastery was a winding mountain range. Ancient trees reached for the sky, and there were huge beasts that occasionally appeared. Atop a certain, tall mountain. There was a large palace that covered the entire mountain top. This was the Zhuangshan Super Monastery's first monastery. The mountains for thousands of miles were covered by a spirit gathering formation. If the 108th monastery's disciples came here, they would be stunned to sense that the spiritual key here was even more dense than inside their immortal caves when their spirit stone formations were activated to their max. At the top of this extremely luxurious monastery was a tall tower. At the top of the tower were a couple people looking at the images on a wall. One of them was Luo Bing. Beside Luo Bing was a man who appeared to be around his 40s and looked somewhat similar to Luo Bing. That was her brother, the 36th monastery sect leader, Luo Fang. In front of Luo Bing was another person with a slightly gloomy face. His eyes were as sharp as two blades, making it so others wouldn't dare look at him directly. That person was clearly standing there, and yet it was as if he wasn't there. It was as if he had merged with the entire world. That man was precisely the first monastery sect leader, Sha Kishin. His cultivation base was in the late Xianchen realm. Sha Kishin had an incredibly high and majestic status as the first monastery sect leader. Not just anyone could manage to get a glance at him. But today, Luo Feng had brought along an extremely precious recording that was now playing on the wall in front of them. That recording was Long Chen's battle with Zhang Yifen. When they saw the divine ring appear behind Long Chen and his combat ability suddenly soar, even they were shocked. When the recording finally ended, Luo Feng hastily said, Sect leader Sha, this Long Chen can't be left alive, he will definitely cause a disaster. Luo Bing had brought a group of disciples to humiliate the 108th monastery. 
the result of which was that their chosen was almost crippled and two of their favored were half dead. When he had learned that, Luo Feng had almost gone crazy with rage. But once he listened to Luo Bing explain the whole story, Luo Feng had immediately brought her to the first monastery. This matter had essentially occurred because of the first monastery. Their losses were extremely heavy, and it would definitely count for something in terms of pulling their relationship closer. Jiang Yifen as well as those twin favored all had extremely heavy injuries. They would need experts from the supermonastery to heal them. And even if the supermonastery's experts helped, that would still cost a great deal. After all, they had no obligation to heal them. Luo Bing's hatred of Long Chen had already sunk into her bones. She wished she could tear him apart piece by piece. Luo Feng wasn't any better. Neither of them were good people. If he was really a good person, how could he have allowed his sister to be so abusive and arrogant? However, Luo Feng's vision was definitely farther reaching than Luo Bing's. This Long Chen was definitely a terrifying genius, and they definitely couldn't let him mature. Now the two of them could borrow the first monastery to get rid of him. How could disciples from the same sect kill each other? The fact that the 108th monastery could gain a genius like Long Chen should make you excited. You can't feel jealous. Sha Kishan shook his head. Both Luo Bing and Luo Feng's expressions changed. This was their first time seeing the first monastery sect leader, but his attitude caused the two of them to be at a loss. Furthermore, inside they became even more disgusted. They had ended up suffering a huge loss because they had been helping his monastery, but he was still able to say something so clearly sarcastic. Was he even human? But although they were dissatisfied inside, they didn't dare display it on the outside. Disciples from the same sect should support and encourage each other. It is a taboo for them to kill each other. I heard you had disciples who ended up injured while exchanging pointers. Due to our close relationship, we will take your place to heal your disciples, said Sha Kishan. Luo Feng immediately became delighted. He was much smarter than his idiot sister, and he immediately realized what Sha Kishan was really saying. Thank you, sect leader Sha, said Luo Feng respectfully. But that Long Chen, Luo Bing was still confused and worried. After all, she wanted Long Chen dead. She was unwilling to let him off. Long Chen is a genius of a monastery, and will be a core member of the righteous path in the future. He will be a powerful force when facing off against the corrupt path. A genius like that can't die because of internal struggles, said Sha Kishan. But Luo Bing was just about to say something when Luo Feng stopped her. Sect leader Sha's heart really is magnanimous. I admire your constant concern for the entire righteous path. Our sect still has some matters to attend to, so we won't bother you anymore. After saying goodbye to Sha Kishan, Luo Feng pulled an unwilling Luo Bing out of the first monastery. What are you doing? Why didn't you let me ask about Long Chen? We paid such a heavy price. Are you okay with ending it like this? Raged Luo Bing. Luo Feng cursed her for being so stupid. Last time you admitted you were a pig. And now I find that you really might just be a pig. You really grew a pig head. Didn't you hear Sha Kishan's implicit meaning? What implicit meaning? He already said to leave the matters of our disciples to them. In other words, he already accepts our new relationship and the favor we did for him. He'll handle the rest, said Luo Feng. I didn't hear anything about that. That's because you're a pig, raged Luo Fang. All day, all you know how to do is stir up trouble, bullying and mocking weaklings. When are you going to grow a brain? But, he should have at least said what he was going to do to Long Chen. You idiot. Didn't he already clearly say it? Cursed Luo Fang. How did he say it? I didn't hear anything. Luo Fang really did want to curse her some more. But in the end, he stopped himself. He already clearly said. Long Chen is a genius of a monastery, and will be a core member of the righteous path in the future. He will be a powerful force when facing off against the corrupt path. A genius like that can't die because of internal struggles. I don't understand. How did I end up with such a stupid sister? If you didn't grow up with me, I really would suspect you're a pig. His meaning is extremely obvious. A genius like Long Chen absolutely can't die because of internal struggle. In other words, he can only die to a fight outside the sect do you understand? Looking at the confused Luo Bing, Luo Feng knew he had wasted his words. He stopped trying to explain it to her and just brought her back to their monastery. Once the two of them had left, Sha Kishan and four elders were left at up that tower. It went without saying that the first monastery was incredibly strong. Those four elders were all mid Zianshan experts. What do you all think? Asked Sha Kishan. Very strong, one of the white-haired elders said. However. That Jiang Yifen is only half a chosen. 
He absolutely wouldn't be able to last even 50 exchanges with our chosen. If the super monastery hadn't seen that it had been 3000 years since their last chosen as well as how stubbornly he tried, they absolutely wouldn't have given him that status. Although Jiang Yifan is just a second-rate chosen, Long Chen is still extremely strong. Furthermore, he was clearly holding back while fighting Jiang Yifan. You're right. Most frightening of all is that he is only at the peak of blood condensation. Perhaps in the entire super monastery, only Shian I would have had that kind of ability. It's too bad a photographic jade is only able to record sound and image. We don't know how long Chen's will is. It's very difficult to say just what level he has reached. That first white-haired elder nodded. That's true. Without seeing him truly fighting, it'd be difficult to say anything. According to Luo Bing, Long Chen's will is extremely powerful, capable of even causing her to feel a threat and an urge to submit. Although she was purposely exaggerating it so that we would kill Long Chen, it's definitely true that Long Chen is a threat. We should definitely treat this importantly the other elders all nodded. Other than Cheyenne Ayu, there was no one else who had had such abilities at that level that raised their guard. The reason the first monastery was able to remain number one was all because of how precisely they controlled information. As soon as they caught a whiff of a threat, no matter how small, they would handle it immediately. Whenever a genius that could threaten their position arose, they would either pull them into their camp if they could, or they would make them disappear if they couldn't. However, the top ten monasteries were all extremely on guard against them. They did their best to hide their top geniuses, waiting to reveal them at the monastery competition. But of course, that kind of conduct wasn't suitable for the 108th monastery. As the last ranking monastery, they had to show off their strongest geniuses in hopes of getting more resources from the super monastery. So Long Chen was immediately revealed to the Zhuanchen super monastery and the various monasteries under its control. After a long while, Sha Kishan nodded. Then were decided, Long Chen will forever disappear within the Jiuli secret realm. Chapter 304 Wild's Ancestral Mark Translator Born to be ever since the 36th monastery had come to provoke them, only to end up running away dejectedly. The 108th monastery's disciples had been incredibly excited. Although the monastery had tried to keep this matter under wraps because they were afraid of causing their disciples to feel inferior due to being in the last rank monastery, there were still many disciples who had learned the truth. However, their monastery's ranking didn't cause any sense of inferiority in those disciples. In fact, they were filled with confidence. The fact that they, the last ranking monastery, were able to repel the 36th monastery, was an incredibly glorious thing, that had actually ended up making their Dao hearts even more solid. Cultivation had no shortcuts. No matter how many resources you had, without a firm Dao heart, you would still be nothing. At the beginning, they had pridefully claimed that they had managed to defeat Chiringa's stronger enemy even though they had been weaker. But Long Chen had told them they were wrong. They had always been stronger. Strength wasn't necessarily just how high your cultivation base was, or what kind of background you had, or how powerful your battle skills were. It was more related to whether you had an expert's heart. Three days later, Tu Fang managed to bring back all the three connecting flower tendon pills he had exchanged for with the merit points, and each disciple was given one. The three connecting flower tendon pill was a peak item amongst third-tier medicinal pills. The monasteries ranked below 50 were unable to afford them. Their disciples knew that they only managed to obtain one because of Long Chen's consideration of them. Normally, such precious medicinal pills would be reserved for the core disciples. When the disciples had brought up that they didn't want the three connecting flower tendon pills so that they could be given to the core disciples, Tu Fang had told them that this was Long Chen's decision. Many disciples had teared up at that. The fact that Long Chen was always looking out for them moved them incredibly. This was Long Chen. As long as there were some benefits, he would never forget about every single person beside him. Geniuses like Long Chen were always arrogant and lofty, viewing everyone else as worthless. If you were to go to the 36th monastery, then probably every single one of their inner disciples would be like that. But Long Chen never had any of that loftiness. He considered each of them as his brother. After obtaining a three connecting flower tendon pill, all the disciples returned to their immortal caves. They knew the only thing they could do was raise their own strength so as to not disappoint Long Chen. As long as they weren't thrown off too far by Long Chen, then they would still have more opportunities to battle side by side with Long Chen. For those opportunities, they had to go all out to raise their strength. Those disciples' display moved Tu Fang incredibly. Just how many people in this world weren't selfish? 
The more members a group had, the harder it was to control. But Long Chen didn't even need to do any tricks to make these disciples all loyal. During this time, all the monastery's disciples were busy refining the three connecting flower tendon pill in order to increase the toughness of their tendons and increase their combat strength. The three connecting flower tendon pill was a rare medicinal pill that didn't have any side effects. It could be continuously consumed in order to nourish the tendons until they reached their peak. Tendon nourishing pills were originally extremely rare, and the majority all had unsavory side effects. Most medicinal pills had side effects. One of those effects was that medicinal pills used to increase strength could only be used a total of three times. The first time, the pill would be 100% effective, but by the second time, it would only be 50% effective. The third time, its effect would be halved once more, and by the fourth time, there would be very little effect. And that was why the three connecting flower tendon pill was so precious. It would stay effective no matter how many you consumed. Not only was its medicinal effect excellent, it could be consumed repeatedly without consequence until your tendons had reached their peak. While all those disciples were refining the pill, Long Chen wasn't just wasting his time. He was constantly refining three connecting flower tendon pills for the core disciples. But Long Chen was somewhat helpless that his current pill flame was no longer able to keep up with his growth. Using the flame salamander's blue flame to refine a furnace of three connecting flower tendon pills would use up 12 hours, and it was extremely tedious. If he had a stronger beast flame, he would be able to refine them much faster. Long Chen's plan was extremely good. He would refine a whole bunch of three connecting flower tendon pills to turn all those beside him into experts. Then when he wanted to show off, he wouldn't even need to personally take action. He could just wave his hand and have his brothers crush his enemies. That would be too delightful. After half a month, Long Chen was completely exhausted from refining. However, it had been worth it. He had refined over 203 connecting flower tendon pills. He gave each of the core disciples 10 of them. Long Chen had the utmost confidence in his medicinal pills. He was sure that their tendons would definitely reach their peak limits from those 10 pills. Long Chen was even more confident in his pill arts than his fighting skills. It was a pity his flame energy wasn't good enough, or he would even be able to refine fourth-tier medicinal pills. Suddenly, he took out a tablet. Looking at that tablet, Long Chen couldn't help sighing. That was the tablet Grandmaster Yun Qi had left behind for him. Whenever he thought of Grandmaster Yun Qi, Long Chen couldn't help feeling upset. Although Grandmaster Yun Qi's pill arts were only average. He was definitely a senior worthy of his respect. He had even sacrificed his life for him Noveloon.com Although Long Chen had managed to kill the white-robed man responsible, he had never felt any better about that. I really wonder just what that pill valley is. For it to be able to be considered a holy land in the eyes of pill cultivators, it must be amazing. Long Chen had always been interested in pill valley. If it really was sacred as Grandmaster Yun Qi had said, then Long Chen definitely had to make a trip there. Putting away Pill Valley's tablet, Long Chen thought about whether or not he should refine more three connecting flower tendon pills. The core disciples already didn't need any more. As for the outer and inner disciples, they didn't need them right now. As long as they hadn't reached bone forging, they could consume more three connecting flower tendon pills whenever. Currently, Long Chen still had tens of three connecting flower tendon pills, but he knew that once he entered the tendon transformation realm, such an amount would be nothing. With the 9-star hegemon body arts abnormal cultivation difficulty, he would need hundreds, thousands, or perhaps tens of thousands times the medicinal pills as others. Thinking of that terrifying consumption, Long Chen had a huge headache. He now suspected that the pill god memories were actually a set with the 9-star hegemon body art. As his cultivation base increased, he would end up using countless numbers of precious medicinal ingredients and pills. That was money. He would need to find a way to get more money. Glancing at his pill furnace, he felt a wave of revulsion. He didn't mind refining pills, but it was really too boring to sit still for hours on end like this. That was especially true with Long Chen's lazy temperament. Now that he didn't have to refine for anyone else, and it was just for himself, he felt all his motivation fly away. Brother Long, I'm back. Just as Long Chen was about to become lazy, a rough voice rang out. Long Chen felt his entire immortal cave shake. He hastily ran out and saw Wild rushing over. The heavy club on his back caused the ground to shake with each step. But this time Wild had learned how to control at least a bit of that force. And the rocks he stepped on didn't all break. Aowu. Suddenly, a huge figure rushed over at Long Chen. 
It was so quick that Long Chen hadn't even reacted before he was knocked on the ground. Haha, <laughs> Little Snow, you're being naughty again. After knocking Long Chen to the ground, Little Snow licked Long Chen's face over and over again, causing Long Chen to be between laughter and tears. Now Little Snow's body was even more terrifying than before. He was almost 30 meters long now, and his claws were even larger than a table. The tips of those claws were like sharp steel, and there were surprisingly runes that had appeared on top of them. Little Snow was now emitting a terrifying aura. That was a pressure that came from being a wolf king. It was something that caused your soul to tremble. Little Snow, you've advanced to wolf king. Long Chen stood and couldn't help exclaiming his delight. Little Snow had now reached the peak of the third rank, which was his innate limit. That was why that king pressure had become extremely obvious. A scarlet flame snow wolf was originally an overlord amongst third rank magical beasts. An unrevealed existence. Now Little Snow had really reached his peak. Little Snow's previous combat strength had already been terrifying. In the previous battle, Little Snow had only been in the mid-third rank, yet he was able to easily kill core disciples. Most importantly, Little Snow's attacks were extremely sharp, and his attack range was incredibly large. He was most proficient in group battles. Brother Long, I heard a fight occurred in the monastery. I didn't make it back in time. Wild was a bit disappointed. Long Chen couldn't help laughing. It seemed Wild had also become warlike. Back then, this fellow had been a good child who didn't like fighting. Don't worry about it. Once we enter the secret realm, there'll be more than enough opponents. Wait, Wild, you have an ancestral mark. Long Chen suddenly saw a faint red imprint that looked like a birthmark in the space between Wild's eyebrows. That imprint was an octagon. It looked extremely odd, and it was like there was something inside it but it was impossible to see the thing clearly. When Long Chen tried to probe it, a powerful aura immediately destroyed his divine sense. Long Chen was incredibly startled, and involuntarily took a couple steps back. That aura was incredibly terrifying. It was like he was seeing the scene of an ancient monster tearing apart the dome of the heavens. What is it brother Long? Asked Wild. It's nothing. Long Chen shook his head. Wild's body seemed to be hiding many secrets. But Long Chen trusted that Wild didn't even know what those secrets were. Although that aura was incredibly terrifying, Long Chen hadn't sensed any hostility from it, which relieved him. Long Chen asked Wild about how he had been. Wild said his old man had brought him and Little Snow somewhere far away with countless powerful magical beasts. He and Little Snow had eaten their fill every day. As for what those magical beasts' cultivation bases were, Wild didn't remember. All he knew was that those magical beasts' meat was extremely tough and hard to eat, but they allowed him to grow much stronger. Most importantly, with last time's experience, Kang Ming had prepared a huge amount of rations for Wild. Long Chen nodded. There seemed to be something sleeping within Wild's body. Perhaps it had something to do with the powerful state he had entered when fighting that favored back then. But no matter what, it was still a good thing. After giving Wild multiple warnings about what not to do here, Long Chen brought Little Snow out of the monastery. Chapter 305 Before it rains, make your preparations translator. Born to be that little fellow Long Chen really is daring. And you, little fellow, you're not that lacking anymore either, praised Kang Ming. He patted Ling Yunzi on the shoulder. The first thing he had heard after returning was that the 36th monastery had tried provoking them. As Ling Yunzi and Tu Fang had expected, as soon as he learned of it, Kang Ming's temper had exploded. He was about to go over to the 36th monastery, but Ling Yunzi and Tu Fang stopped him, telling him about how the matter had ended. Only then did Kang Ming calm down a bit. When Kang Ming heard the whole story and how Long Chen and the others had ruthlessly returned the 36th monastery's humiliation back to them, he almost began to dance in excitement. Ling Yunzi and Tu Fang's expressions became a bit odd as they watched him. That was especially true of Ling Yunzi, as far as he recalled. This was the first time he had seen Kang Ming so happy. After Kang Ming had calmed down a bit, he said, Little Ling Zi, ever since my senior apprentice brother passed away, this is the first time I've been this happy. The reason I'm so happy isn't just because our monastery has produced a genius like Long Chen, but because of you. Have you realized it yet? Your heart was covered in shackles of your own devising. As a sword cultivator, for your sword to become corroded by dust, you are essentially crippled. You know, I cursed you over and over again, but you never tried to fight back. All day, all you did was try to increase the monastery's ranking to accomplish your master's final wishes. Is ranking and fame so important? 
I personally went to your master's grave and cursed him for a couple days for leaving you with this problem. Ling Yanzi's expression became a bit odd, but inside, he was extremely moved. Although this uncle master of his had an explosive temper, and was sometimes completely unreasonable, he had truly treated him well. Kang Ming continued, after his death, you jumped into a hole and couldn't get yourself out. I could only watch as you did that to yourself. That's why I never gave you any face whenever I saw you. The fact that a genius like you was wasting away was just too painful for me. Uncle Master. I. I'm sorry. Ling Yanzi thought back to when he was young and how Kang Ming had always looked after him. At that time, this Uncle Master cherished him even more than his master. In fact, when his master would punish him, it was always Kang Ming who pushed for leniency. Good child. It's fine now that's everything's over. Seeing you recover your confidence and become the old, unyielding Ling Yanzi. Uncle Master is extremely happy. Kang Ming patted Ling Yanzi on the shoulder. It's all thanks to Long Chen. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even known that I had formed a heart devil. Sighed Ling Yanzi. Thinking of what he had done recently, he couldn't help calling himself stupid. A grand sect leader, a powerful Xi'anchen expert, had actually formed a heart devil without even knowing it. Ever since his master had passed away and handed the monastery to him, he had been focused on the monastery, wanting to reverse their humiliation of always being in last place for the past 3,000 years. By doing so, he had unknowingly placed a set of shackles on himself. As he failed to change the monastery's fate time after time, those shackles became incredibly heavy. They had tightly bound Ling Yanzi's Dao heart. At the same time, it had also bound up his precious sword. At some point, he had been so focused on being the sect leader, that he had forgotten himself to be a prideful sword cultivator. He only began to realize this once Long Chen arrived. Long Chen had stepped across the corpses of countless experts to bring about miracle after miracle. He didn't know he was a divergent, and he knew even less about his own fate. But he always dared to resist. He always dared to challenge his enemies. When did Long Chen ever act like an ordinary person? He always dared to do what others didn't. And yet, when he did those things, he didn't even frown. At first, Ling Yanzi had disliked Long Chen's way of handling things. He had thought such actions were foolish and impetuous. A smart person would never act like Long Chen. He had simply thought this was a divergence fate. They dared to challenge the heavenly deos. But the only ending for them was death. But after seeing the miracles created by Long Chen, Ling Yanzi had realized he had been wrong. Extremely, extremely, wrong. What was a martial artist? Martial artists should always advance courageously. Whether facing a mountain of blades or a sea of fire, they had to charge through regardless. Otherwise, what were you cultivating for? If you didn't even have that courage, then why bother bitterly cultivating? Wouldn't being an ordinary mortal with a lifespan of less than a hundred years be better? Since you've chosen the path of cultivation, then you couldn't care about how long you could stay on that path. The important thing was whether or not you could manage to show your own radiance. From Long Chen, Ling Yanzi had realized that he was not just a sect leader, but more importantly, he was a sword cultivator. He had been so engrossed with his empty title of sect leader, that he had forgotten his own sword. A sword cultivator's most precious partner was the sword in their hand, but he had allowed this partner of his to become covered in years of dust. Now, he had finally remembered his partner. He had recovered his sword cultivator identity and become the old, high-spirited Ling Yanzi. Back then, if Luo Bing had really refused to admit she was a pig, Ling Yanzi would definitely have cut off her head. He had not been just trying to scare her. Right now, he was a sword cultivator, not a simple sect leader. Now that he had broken through the shackles on his heart, he would no longer be a coward afraid of every little thing. This was the true him. Kang Ming was incredibly happy to see this Ling Yanzi return. Excellent. With an existence like Long Chen in our monastery, our ranking will go up whether we want it to or not. Haha, <laughs> it's not so simple. Ling Yanzi shook his head. After Luo Bing failed this time, I had Tu Fang stealthily go to the Super Monastery, and he heard a piece of news. After Luo Bing had left, both Ling Yanzi and Tu Fang had felt this matter to be fishy. They had no enmity with the 36th Monastery. Even though Luo Bing had said she had come because of losing quotas for the Jiuli secret realm, if that was true, she wouldn't have come so brazenly and with so many disciples. In the past, the 108th monastery had never had more than a handful of core disciples. As for favored, they only appeared once every few decades. And yet, Luo Bing had immediately brought four favored as well as a chosen. Even if she had been planning on a perfect victory, 
there should have been no need for her to bring so many troops. Thinking of everything that had happened, Tu Fang had made a secret trip to the super monastery, and as they had expected, with something this big happening, it was impossible to conceal the news. That was because the super monastery's top 50 monasteries all had an intense competition between them. Each of them had spies in other people's monasteries. There was no way around it. For those larger monasteries, they all had disciples numbering in the hundreds of thousands or even millions. It was a crazy man's dream to not have any spies present. Although Luo Bing had brought her people back stealthily, the next day, news had come out that the 36th monastery's chosen and two of their favored had almost been crippled. That immediately caused a clamor amongst the other monasteries. They had investigated curiously, and as expected, there was no way the 36th monastery could keep this matter concealed. All the details of that competition were known to anyone who cared to find out now. Some people had even managed to obtain photographic jades of that day. As a result, one person spread it to ten people, ten spread it to a hundred, and now, there was basically no one who didn't know about the 36th monastery's tragic defaturing when the 36th monastery had seen those photographic jades. They had almost gone crazy with rage. The angle of those photographic jades were from the side of their own disciples. In other words, it was their own disciples who had transmitted those photographic jades out. Although Luo Bing had tried to suppress this news at the beginning and had told all her disciples to hand over their photographic jades, there were many smart people. At that time, some of her disciples had actually been using two photographic jades to record, and had only given her one of them. And as the saying went, opportunities are left to those who prepare. Those disciples had had an opportunity to sell those photographic jades. Those disciples had been laughing heartily at that time. The thing that made them laugh the hardest was that no matter how the 36th monastery tried to investigate this, they would never be able to figure out it was them. As a result, the 108th monastery had instantly become a topic of hot discussion. Many monasteries even sent elders over to pay a visit. Those elders all said they were just paying a visit, but in truth, they were supposed to investigate the 108th monastery to determine what was true or false. The previous Ling Yunzi would have definitely enthusiastically welcomed them. After all, the more monasteries that had a better relationship with them, the easier they would be able to grow. But the current Ling Yunzi had already recovered a sword cultivator's pride. He directly refused to allow any of those elders into the monastery. Those elders cursed him furiously, saying that the 108th monastery didn't know what was good for them and that they were clearly being petty. However, Ling Yunzi simply ignored them all. Nowadays, Ling Yunzi no longer cared about anything like ranking. All he cared about was his disciples' growth. All he hoped for was that the monastery's scheming wouldn't stupidly hold back his disciples' cultivation. Tu Fang had put on a fake identity in the super monastery and finally obtained a piece of important information from a knowledgeable member of the super monastery. Once Luo Bing had returned to her monastery, in less than two hours, she and her brother had gone straight to the first monastery. As soon as he had heard that, Tu Fang had had a bad feeling. He had immediately gone to Ling Yunzi to report it. Then what you mean is that the one pulling the strings behind the curtains is the first monastery? Kang Ming frowned. There's a 90% chance. Yes. Ling Yunzi nodded. The 108th monastery had never had any relationships with the other monasteries. Especially not any of those in the top 50 rankings. Only this time had they ended up with a slight conflict with the first monastery because of the application for Long Chen's chosen disciple position. But that couldn't even count as conflict. They had made one application, failed, then made a second application with proof. After failing again, they had already realized it was useless. They hadn't further antagonized them. Furthermore, the next day, the first monastery had then announced that they had given birth to a fourth chosen as well as made the 108th monastery a lost stock, saying they had wanted to cheat over a chosen disciple position. From start to finish, Tu Fang had been incredibly irritated. He had never said a single thing bad about the first monastery, and yet he had to suffer because of them. That was enough for him to explode with rage. Fuck, they really are excessive. Do they think we're that easy to bully? Kang Ming was completely infuriated when he heard all this. Uncle Master, you also know Long Chen's character. Once he enters the secret realm, who knows what he will do. And so, said Ling Yunzi, don't worry, when that time comes, if anyone dares bully our disciples, I'll smash them to death with my all. Looks like your Uncle Master's weary bones are about to see some action, snorted Kang Ming. 
Chapter 306 Cyanchin Blood Giant Pill Translator Born to be don't make a fuss little snow. It'll be over in a bit. Little snow had once more started to rub his large head over Long Chen's body, making it so Long Chen couldn't focus on the medicinal ingredients. Ayo Wu, I've already said this is something important that'll affect your future. Stop messing around for now. Woo Wu, I know. I missed you too. Ah, fine. One more hug and then stop. Long Chen gave Little Snow one last hug as well as a peck on the head. However, Little Snow really was too big now. His head was practically the size of a small room. But no matter how large Little Snow got, no matter how strong he became, he was always that adorable little fellow in front of Long Chen. Okay, go play for a bit over there. When I finish refining, I'll call you back. Long Chen patted Little Snow's large head. Only then did Little Snow run into the distance. Little Snow liked to run. And although his body was large, he was not the slightest bit clumsy. In fact, his speed had only gotten faster, and from a distance, he looked like a white bolt of lightning. After dispatching Little Snow, Long Chen once more went carefully through over 80 medicinal powders, afraid to make any mistakes. Whether it was the medicinal powder's quality or quantity, not the slightest mistake could be allowed. That was because he was refining a medicinal pill that didn't exist in his pill god memories. This was a crazy idea he had come up with on his own. As for whether or not it would succeed, even he wasn't sure. Heavens, I'm begging you. You've been blind so many times. Please be blind again and let me succeed. After praying, Long Chen took out a jar. The instant that jar was opened, a terrifying pressure shot out, causing all of Long Chen's hair to stand on end. Heaven and earth were quivering slightly. It really is worthy of being a Xi'anchen expert's blood. How powerful. Long Chen was deeply moved. Back in the righteous and corrupt path battle, a large hand had shot out of the spatial door Yun Luo had escaped from. But in the end, that hand had been forced back by Ling Yunzi's sword, leaving behind only a drop of blood. Even now, Long Chen had no idea what that large hand had been. If it was a real hand, then how was it so large? And if it was made from spiritual key, how could it bleed? But that wasn't important right now. After carefully examining the blood, he exclaimed, He... Experts really are experts. Even their blood is different. If it was chicken blood or duck blood, it would have long since solidified. 1. If that corrupt expert heard what Long Chen said, he would definitely be angered enough to cough up more fresh blood for Long Chen to use. Long Chen took out a packet of medicinal powders and poured them into the jar. That calm Xi'anchen blood immediately began to roil, looking like it was boiling. What a reaction. Little Snow probably won't be able to handle it like this. I need to increase the amount of snack atong grass. Long Chen's expression changed slightly. The energy within this Xi'anchen blood had surpassed his expectations. Just now, he had used the method of the 10,000 beast essence blood to activate the blood. But as a result, the jar had almost exploded. Snack atong grass might sound frightening, and its appearance was just like a sinister snake tongue. But its medicinal nature was actually extremely gentle. It could block the chaotic aspect of the blood so that when it was absorbed, it wouldn't cause the body to explode. Seeing how berserk this Xi'anchen blood was, Long Chen immediately adjusted the medicinal powder's ratio several times before it calmed down. Although he had never done this before, Long Chen was using some of the medicinal principles contained within his pill god memories to do this, and he was sure there was at least some chance of him succeeding in refining this blood into a medicinal pill. This decision of his had been inspired by Yun Luo. It had to be known that below the Xi'anchen realm, no one should have been able to contain Xi'anchen essence blood in their body. Not even one drop. Even meridian opening experts would have their bodies explode if they tried merging with Xi'anchen essence blood. That was like placing lava inside a water pipe. The water pipe was fundamentally incapable of holding lava, and would explode. And yet, somehow Yun Luo had been capable of doing so. Although he had no idea what method Yun Luo had used. Just the fact that there was a precedent like him was enough for Long Chen. Furthermore, Long Chen only had a small amount of Xi'anchen blood which was not at all the same as Yun Luo. Back then, Yun Luo had only been capable of using a trace of natural energy. However, whether it was Long Chen or Mo Nian, they had both sensed that his body seemed to contain a huge volcano. Once he exploded, he wouldn't just be releasing such small sparks. From the energy they sensed from his body, it was very likely that Yun Luo's body had merged with the Xi'anchen expert's entire essence blood. That was the most chilling thing to Long Chen. To raise a single disciple, they had sacrificed a Xi'anchen expert. Perhaps only the corrupt path would do such a thing. 
Compared to Yun Luo, Long Chen's drop of blood was nothing. Yun Luo had used some sort of secret technique to merge with that Xi'anchen essence blood. Long Chen didn't know what the technique was, but that didn't stop him from testing out something himself. One reason Long Chen dared to do this was because he had only a fraction of a Xi'anchen expert's blood, and the other reason was that Long Chen was using that Xi'anchen blood to change Little Snow's physical body, not to try to get him to absorb it. Little Snow had received a blessing from that expert from the spirit world, and he was no longer the same as ordinary Scarlet Flame Snow Wolves. He had already reached the peak of the third rank, and was already a match for a favored. It could be said Little Snow was already much stronger than ordinary Scarlet Flame Snow Wolves. However, that was far from enough for Long Chen. Once he entered the secret realm, his enemies would all be on the chosen level. Letting Little Snow fight was too dangerous. That was why Long Chen was planning on refining a specialized medicinal pill for Little Snow to break apart his innate shackles and let him advance to the fourth rank. If other pill cultivators were to hear Long Chen's thinking, they would definitely think he was crazy. A magical beast's rank was determined by their bloodline. Long Chen's thinking was equivalent to wanting to feed a cat enough medicinal pills that it grew up into a tiger. Long Chen took a deep breath and took out his flame salamander's blue flame, beginning to warm his furnace. Once it reached the appropriate temperature, he began to pour in the Xi'anchen blood. The instant it entered the furnace, the furnace began to shake intensely, as if a violent beast was struggling inside it. How powerful! Long Chen was shocked. It was clearly just a drop of blood without any life, and yet it still possessed such shocking power, increasing his flame strength. An hour later, that blood began to shrink, causing Long Chen to sigh. This beast flame is already unable to keep up with my needs. I'll need to find a stronger flame. The speed at which his flame salamander's blue flame refined the Xi'anchen blood was so slow that it was infuriating. Even after two hours, the blood had only shrunk slightly, but there was no way around this. It took two days of refining for the blood to finally shrink to the size of a fist. That was the essence of the Xi'anchen blood. Seeing that there was this much essence left over, Long Chen was incredibly nervous. He had underestimated a Xi'anchen expert's blood. He had thought it wouldn't be bad for there to be a long and sized ball of essence left after refining it. If he had known it would be like this, he would have split it up into multiple pills. The fact that there was still this much essence filled him with regret. But it was already too late. Once he removed this essence from his flame, the essence would instantly scatter. He had to completely refine it all now. Taking a deep breath, Long Chen poured the medicinal powders he had long since prepared into the pill furnace. But, of course he increased their amounts in proportion to how much he had increased the snackatong grass and the other powders. This had already surpassed his expectations. He was no longer refining a furnace of pills, but a giant pill he had never refined before. As the medicinal powders poured in, his pill furnace once more began to shake. As the enormous amount of medicinal energy and blood essence tried to merge, a terrifying energy exploded out. The pill furnace was constantly trembling. Long Chen's spiritual strength was attempting to stabilize the pill furnace while he also constantly added in more medicinal powders. An hour later, all the medicinal powders had been added. Long Chen was a bit nervous because his pill furnace was only shaking more and more intensely, but there was no remedy for that at this point. He could only clench his teeth and continue forward. As Long Chen was busy refining, Little Snow returned. But seeing how nervous Long Chen was, Little Snow just obediently lay down to the side. Two hours passed, and Long Chen's pill furnace was now shaking intensely. Small cracks had appeared on the furnace, causing his expression to change. Just a bit more, Long Chen was extremely worried, as he knew refining a giant pill was something ordinary pill furnaces were unable to handle. Right now, all he could do was pray for there not to be a furnace explosion. Long Chen helplessly proceeded to urge on his pill flame, using his spiritual strength to tightly wrap around the pill furnace and keep it as stable as possible. However, his spiritual strength was limited and it didn't have much of an effect. Crack. A light sound came from the pill furnace. Even more cracks appeared as the pill furnace trembled intensely. His pill furnace had already reached its limit. As for the medicinal pill inside it, it was on the verge of forming. This was the most critical moment. If the pill furnace was unable to endure and exploded at this time, then the medicinal pill's essence would instantly scatter into the air. If that happened, this precious giant pill would have been wasted. He didn't care about the other medicinal ingredients, but he would probably not have another opportunity to gather Xi'anchen blood. Long Chen didn't hold back a single shred of his spiritual strength. It formed two transparent hands in the air, 
tightly locking onto the pill furnace, but the pill furnace was shaking too violently. It was like a violent beast was trying to free itself from within. In less than a quarter hour, he was finally unable to endure. Boom. His pill furnace exploded. Chapter 307 Little Snow Breaks Through Translator Born to be Boom. Fuck. Long Chen's spiritual strength was finally unable to stop it. His pill furnace instantly exploded, and the force sent Long Chen flying. Damn it. Long Chen felt an urge to cry. He had really underestimated that Xi'anchen blood. As a result, he had made too many mistakes, causing this failure in the end. Wait. Long Chen suddenly rushed forward, a hundred meters away, stuck in a bush. There was a fist-sized medicinal pill. I succeeded. Long Chen couldn't believe his eyes. This fist-sized giant pill had a red halo of light on top of it. Bursts of medicinal fragrance filled his nose, but there was a slightly bloody smell coming from within it. It's actually high grade. Long Chen carefully examined this giant pill. This was his first time refining a giant pill. In Long Chen's memories, there were very few medicinal formulas for giant pills, and they were extremely difficult to refine. He was startled to see his crazy and foolish method had ended up succeeding. The formulas for giant pills in his memories were all for seventh tier and higher medicinal pills. As for this giant pill in his hand, it was obviously not able to compare to those. He didn't know what tier this giant pill had reached, but the fact that he had managed to condense it meant that the Xi'anchen blood's essence had been fully activated, and it would have at least ten times the effect. That was the most terrifying aspect of pill cultivators. Most rare medicinal ingredients had their own special effects, but if you were to directly eat them, you would only be able to absorb perhaps 20% of the medicinal energy. The rest of the essence would all be wasted. But after an alchemist's purifications, as well as the support of other medicinal ingredients, then the medicinal ingredients effect would be multiplied once it was refined into a pill. However, in this era, most pill formulas were all passed down from ancient times. The current era's alchemists were only refining medicinal pills in accordance with those old pill formulas. All they knew how to do was follow, without being able to innovate. For the tests to advance alchemists' tires, the test was often to refine a medicinal pill. However, they often did not tell you the exact proportions of medicinal ingredients to use for that pill. That made those tests incredibly difficult for most alchemists. If the proportions were wrong, then it could easily cause a furnace explosion or just result in a bunch of trash pills. Furthermore, if they perhaps used the wrong medicinal ingredient, then it would be absolutely impossible for them to refine the pill. Long Chen had used his crazy imagination to theorize this medicinal pill from the principles contained within his pill god memories. He had theorized he should be able to succeed. But in truth, the chance of him succeeding had been less than 10%. Furthermore, since he had refined a giant pill, the difficulty had increased by a hundred times. The fact he had refined this giant pill meant that Long Chen's prayer had worked. The heavens really had been blind. What powerful essence. Can this thing really be consumed? Seeing the forceful energy within that giant pill, Long Chen couldn't help being worried. A giant pill wasn't as simple as just being large. The medicinal essence contained within it was at least tens of times greater than an ordinary medicinal pill. In Long Chen's memory, most giant pills weren't directly consumed. Ao Wu, at this time, Little Snow walked up to Long Chen. Looking at that giant pill in his hand, he let out a quiet growl. Yes, I succeeded in refining it but this thing has already surpassed my expectations. There's probably at least tens of times more medicinal energy than I expected. Long Chen was at a loss. He had refined this for Little Snow. The instant he had seen that Xi'anchen expert's blood, he had thought of Little Snow. With the Xi'anchen expert's blood essence refined into a medicinal pill, it would definitely greatly increase the power of the physical body. Of course, that kind of crazy energy was very difficult for a human body to contain. The only exceptions were perhaps those like Wild and Long Chen with their powerful physiques. But while Long Chen didn't consider himself to be a picky eater, he really didn't think he could eat a medicinal pill refined from a human's blood. However, he wouldn't feel the slightest bit bad about giving it to Little Snow. However, he had been thinking of refining an ordinary pill at first. Now that he had refined a giant pill, Long Chen had a headache. A giant pill contained tens of times more energy than medicinal pills of the same rank. Normally, that was a good thing, but now it wasn't. Long Chen was afraid Little Snow wouldn't be able to handle it. Little Snow once more growled. You really want to try. Long Chen was extremely nervous. This thing is very dangerous. Not only was it based on a Xi'anchen expert's blood, it's also a giant pill. 
If anything goes wrong, you could lose your life. Aowu, Little Snow growled, his eyes filled with determination. He repeatedly growled a couple things to Long Chen. Long Chen was silent for a long time. With his connection to Little Snow's soul, the two of them could communicate. Little Snow was saying that as Long Chen grew stronger, he also needed to grow stronger to protect him. Long Chen tightly hugged Little Snow's head, rubbing his soft fur. Little Snow let Long Chen stroke him for a while before growling once more, his gaze falling on Long Chen's hand, clenching his teeth. Long Chen prayed, Fine. Hopefully the heavens will bless you and you'll succeed. This time Long Chen didn't dare make any jokes about the heavens. He really was worried about Little Snow. However, Little Snow said he had to eat that giant pill. Even if he died, he wouldn't care. Long Chen knew that Little Snow was extremely intelligent. He knew that if he still didn't advance any further, the chance of him ever helping Long Chen would be extremely low. Eventually, he would end up becoming a burden. In order to accompany Long Chen in growing, Little Snow was willing to take this extremely risky chance. Little Snow swallowed the giant pill in one gulp. Less than a breath of time later, all his fur suddenly stood on end. Boom. A berserk aura shot out, and the ground beneath his feet cracked. A terrifying wave of key shot out. Even Long Chen was forced back several steps by that wave of key. Little Snow was incessantly quivering now. Little Snow let out an angry roar, but that roar was also filled with endless pain. Long Chen was horrified to see Little Snow's white fur turn red. That was because blood was pouring out of his skin. That Xi'anchen blood was too powerful. It was actually rejecting Little Snow's blood. The two types of blood were fighting fiercely inside Little Snow's body. That process was extremely painful. And although Little Snow had long since expected it, he couldn't hold back an angry roar. Little Snow was unable to refine that Xi'anchen blood's essence. It was too powerful and it was crazily expelling Little Snow's blood. If this continued, then Little Snow's blood would leave his body before he could refine that giant pill's energy, and he would die. Long Chen suddenly jumped onto Little Snow's back, placing his hand on Little Snow's body. A firm energy poured into his body. I'll use my spiritual strength to help you resolve the energy within the medicinal pill. Refine it bit by bit. The medicinal pill had yet to completely dissolve in Little Snow's body, but he was already unable to bear it. If that continued, Little Snow would definitely die. Long Chen's spiritual key blocked the giant pill's energy from spreading any further. At the same time, his spiritual strength surged out and suppressed that berserk Xi'anchen blood, not letting it wreak havoc in Little Snow's body. This was like setting up a large dam to hold back a flood. He would only allow the energy to flow through slowly enough that Little Snow could handle it. Receiving Long Chen's help, Little Snow immediately felt it become much easier. With Long Chen's spiritual strength suppressing it, that berserk blood calmed down a great deal. Little Snow took advantage of this time to refine that blood essence. That blood essence was already ownerless at this time, and after an initial period of struggle, it lost all its energy and was finally absorbed by him. After six hours, that blood essence had been all absorbed by Little Snow, and Long Chen finally let out another portion of energy for Little Snow to absorb. Only then did Long Chen relax slightly. Luckily he had reacted quickly and this crude method was effective. Otherwise, it really would have been dangerous. However, using spiritual key and spiritual strength like this was extremely taxing on Long Chen. That was because a giant pill contained far too much energy. And even he found it hard to keep it controlled. This was the first time Long Chen saw just how terrifying a giant pill was. That incredible amount of energy was shocking. By the third time he released more energy. He felt that his spiritual strength was already flagging. Right now, the giant pill still had over half its energy left. If he wasn't able to continue, they would only be able to give up. What Long Chen didn't know was that the Xi'anchen blood essence contained within the giant pill contained a trace of that Xi'anchen expert's will. Although it had been refined into a pill, that trace of will hadn't been eradicated. By using his spiritual strength to hold that giant pill's energy back, Long Chen was essentially using his spiritual strength to face off against that trace of Xi'anchen will. That was why it was so exhausting. Bitterly enduring as long as he could. When Long Chen finally let a fourth portion of energy through, the giant pill's energy suddenly erupted out of his control. Long Chen was sent flying by a terrifying energy, and he immediately vomited a mouthful of blood. Little Snow. Long Chen's voice cracked. That kind of terrifying energy could easily kill Little Snow. But when Long Chen suddenly saw Little Snow, he was shocked to see that he was fine. Boom. The ground beneath Little Snow's feet caved in. Long Chen was still in midair, 
and he was once more sent flying higher from a terrifying wave of ki. When he was finally over a hundred meters away, Long Chen climbed up from the ground to look at Little Snow in shock and delight. Little Snow was now emitting a terrifying pressure that even made it difficult for Long Chen to breathe. The space around him seemed to be compressed. Suddenly, Little Snow let out a heaven-shaking roar, and a berserk energy shot out, causing the world to shake. You advanced. Long Chen couldn't believe his eyes. Little Snow was now emitting a berserk aura that even intimidated Long Chen. Little Snow rushed at Long Chen and intimately rubbed his head on Long Chen a couple times. Ha 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 ha. Excellent. Little Snow. You really advanced. He. Now when we join hands, we'll definitely do some good work in the Jiuli secret realm. Long Chen raised his head to the sky and laughed. Little Snow's body hadn't grown larger after advancing this time. In fact, he had shrunk. Now only being 15 meters long. But the pressure coming from him was shocking. However. Little Snow had only just advanced. The giant pill had still left many internal injuries in his body. Long Chen gave Little Snow a bunch of healing pills and had him return to the spiritual space to heal. When Long Chen returned to the monastery, he didn't bother trying to cultivate. He just calmly waited for a certain day. Dong. A melodious bell rang throughout the entire monastery. The day of the Jiuli secret realm's opening had come. Chapter 308 Zuanchen Supermonastery Translator Born to be the Zuanchen Monastery's disciples had all gathered at the Zuanchen Plaza. That was because today, all the core disciples would be sent to the Supermonastery to enter the Jiuli Secret Realm. Although only the core disciples could enter, that didn't reduce the other disciples' enthusiasm. Long Chen, Tang Wanur, Yez Hikyu, and all the other core disciples were standing at the front. Just looking at them filled the other disciples with excitement. The Jiuli secret realm was said to be a space left behind from the ancient era. There were countless opportunities within it, and natural treasures were everywhere. It only opened once every hundred years. Ling Yunzi was leading a group of elders, looking at the flourishing disciples. He was filled with pride. Under Long Chen's guidance, the monastery's disciples were now elites amongst elites. Their inner disciples were now not much weaker than their ordinary core disciples of years past. As for Gu Yang and the other core disciples, their power went without saying. They were even comparable to favored. And of course, the most gratifying thing for Ling Yunzi was that they had existences like Long Chen, Wild, and Tang Wanner amongst them. That filled him with confidence for the Jiuli secret realm. Are you all prepared? Ling Yunzi looked at the inspired disciples. In all of his memories, he didn't remember Long Chen ever appearing so excited. Long Chen was normally like a calm, rippleless well. Although Long Chen was doing his best to suppress his excitement, that light in his eyes completely sold him out. Only Long Chen knew that his excitement was because there was something within the Jiuli secret realm that seemed to be summoning him. That feeling was becoming stronger and stronger. We're ready, responded all the core disciples. Move out. Ling Yunzi didn't waste any time on useless words. He knew that any words were useless to these disciples who had towed the line between life and death. Why would he bother wasting his time? Senior apprentice brothers and senior apprentice sisters will definitely return in triumph. The other disciples all cried out their goodbyes. Long Chen felt his body move suddenly, and before he knew it, he was in the rear mountains of the monastery. There was a stone platform around a hundred meters wide here. Atop the stone platform were dozens of pillars that had countless ancient runes carved onto them. This was the monastery's transportation formation. Ling Yunzi brought them on top of it, touching the stone pillar in the center. All the various stone pillars runes lit up. Everyone immediately felt their bodies tighten. They felt a terrifying pressure squeeze them. And space was beginning to twist. Don't be afraid. This is the spatial power of the transportation formation. After adapting for a moment, you'll be fine. Ling Yunzi smiled and consoled everyone when they saw their fear. Space was constantly twisting. And it was if they had entered water. Their surroundings were no longer clear. Our 108th monastery is comparatively poor and we could only construct the lowest grade transportation formation. That's why it takes so long. Ling Yunzi explained that transportation formations were split into different grades. These grades were differentiated by two characteristics, the transportation distance as well as the speed and stability of the transportation. The monastery was over a million miles from the supermonastery. A better transportation formation would only need a single breath's time. If it was a peak transportation formation like the first monastery, then it was practically instant. 
but their 108th monastery's transportation formation was the lowest grade in order to save on the huge amount of resources used for each activation. However, the shortcomings were extremely obvious. Not only did it require an incense stick of time, but during the transportation process, space was extremely unsteady, causing everyone who used it to feel a very harsh spatial pressure. Ordinary disciples were unable to bear that kind of pressure. Even core disciples like Gu Yang would feel uncomfortable under that pressure. However, after just a couple breaths of unpleasantness, the core disciples did adapt and felt much better. Once everyone had become accustomed, Ling Yunzi turned to Long Chen gravely. Long Chen, this time, you must be absolutely careful within the Jiuli secret realm. Of all of you, you're the one I worry about the most. That startled everyone, with only Long Chen nodding his head in comprehension. However, the others didn't understand. Long Chen was the strongest of all of them. Even if they all joined hands, they wouldn't necessarily be able to defa during Long Chen. Why would the sect leader worry most about him? You all might not know about this, but I've heard that the corrupt path has already placed Long Chen on their must kill list. He is ranked only second to the first monastery's Han Shian Ayu. The corrupt path was extremely powerful, with many sects. Last time, Long Chen had defeated their number one genius in this region, Yin Luo, that had shaken the entire corrupt path. After their investigation, they had decided to place Long Chen on the must kill list. That must kill list was all the greatest geniuses of the righteous path. They gave them a ranking according to their threat level. It was said that the corrupt path's must kill list only had a hundred people, and they were normally all chosen or extremely powerful favored. The person ranked number one was the first monastery's number one chosen. Han Shian Ayu. Ling Yunzi hadn't been shocked that Long Chen had ended up on the must kill list, but he was shocked when he had heard that Long Chen had been ranked number two. In this world, only he and Tu Fang knew that Long Chen was a divergent. Others didn't know Long Chen's true potential. That proved that the corrupt path's vision was far more incisive and sinister than the righteous paths. They had immediately seen that Long Chen posed a greater threat to them than even chosen. That had completely infuriated Ling Yunzi. Even the corrupt path viewed Long Chen so importantly. Were their super monasteries higher ups all blind? Hearing that, everyone was started. Since Long Chen was on the corrupt path's must kill list, then once he entered the Jiuli secret realm, wouldn't he be chased down by countless corrupt disciples? Long Chen, with your power, other than the top experts like Yun Luo, you should be able to fight back. But the secret realm stays open for a full year. Inside the secret realm, there is a primordial aura that comes from the ancient era which is extremely suitable for cultivation. Not only will there be countless opportunities in the secret realm, but it is also extremely beneficial to your cultivation. It is much easier to break through inside. Each time the secret realm opens, the majority of disciples will have reached the bone forging realm by the time they leave. So you absolutely cannot look down on the Jiuli secret realm. I heard that 1800 years ago. A member of the corrupt path didn't bother searching for treasures when he entered, instead focusing on a rapid breakthrough. In just a month, he advanced to the bone forging realm. With his cultivation base's superiority, he crazily slaughtered the righteous disciples. In that generation, the righteous path suffered a huge loss, and over half of those talented disciples were killed by him. Ling Yunzi was extremely grave. How vicious. Hearing that made their hearts shake. He had killed over half the righteous path's disciples. Those weren't just ordinary disciples, but core disciples. Some of them also had to be favored and chosen. That's why you have to focus on safety above all else in the secret realm. Even if there is a heaven-defying opportunity in front of you, if you don't have enough strength, it will still be taken by others. And the most infuriating thing is that you not only have to be on guard against the corrupt path's disciples attacking you, but you have to be even more on guard against the righteous path's disciples sneak attacks. Those are the most terrifying, explained Ling Yunzi. Other than Long Chen, the other core disciples were startled. Obviously they hadn't expected that they not only had to defend against powerful enemies, but also their own comrades. There's nothing strange about this. The righteous path's people are almost skilled in internal strife. They don't dare truly fight against the corrupt path, but when it comes to handling their own people, they are absolute experts. In this world, everyone is selfish. People spend all day scheming and plotting. You scheme against me, I scheme against you. Every disciple in the same sect tries to suppress his peers. Otherwise, with how powerful the righteous path is, how could they still have failed to suppress the corrupt path after all these years? 
other than causing trouble for their own people. The righteous path doesn't have much else in the way of skills. Long Chen was extremely calm. Ling Yanzi was helpless about this. Long Chen was completely correct. Although the corrupt path was heartless and vicious, when it came to working together against common enemies, they were much, much better than the righteous path. The super monastery had a total of 108 monasteries. There were many cases of those monasteries suppressing and backstabbing each other. Although those cases were rare when it came to out in the open fights. Who knew just how many despicable behind-the-scenes schemes were going on? Their failure to obtain a chosen position for Long Chen was an excellent example. The corrupt path had ranked Long Chen number two on their must-kill list. Was it possible that the higher-ups of the super monastery were unable to see that? In truth, they had all seen that. But because it involved a few people's selfish interests, those authorities acted as if they didn't know about it. As for others who were well aware of it, they could only act as if they were blind as well in order to avoid offending those in power. That was the righteous path's unwritten rules. That was a hierarchy that could not be more rotten even if they tried. Each of them was selfish, only handling their own problems. Who would help you out in times of trouble? Of course, if that trouble was actually a golden opportunity or treasure, then with the righteous path's selfishness, an incredible number of people would come to try and snatch it from you. Furthermore, for their own interests, they were willing to use whatever despicable, shady methods they could. That really made people sigh. If you simply focused that kind of enthusiasm on fighting the corrupt path, wouldn't the corrupt path have been long since exterminated? But there were always those smart people in the righteous path who did anything they could to gain a higher position. They constantly thought about how they could suppress people on the same side as them so they could rise higher. Just thinking of that made people downhearted. But people were helpless. Unless you decided to become an ordinary person again, as a cultivator, you had to face this. Ling Yanzi had long since understood the rottenness of the righteous path, but he had no way to fix it. Not only had he had no way of changing the hypocritical side of the righteous path, but he had also almost lost himself in that struggle. If Long Chen hadn't appeared, he would have forever lost his way. Ling Yanzi had now understood that he was only a cultivator. There was no need for him to try and change others. So now, he would do whatever he wanted to do. Why bother caring about the consequences so much? Once you enter the secret realm, don't easily trust anyone, especially those comrades who smile to your face while hiding a knife. You must be careful. Long Chen solemnly warned everyone. Those enemies you could see coming at you weren't dangerous. The real dangers were ones you didn't see coming. Although Tang Wanner and the others were powerful and he didn't worry too much about them facing off against the corrupt path's disciples. Long Chen was extremely worried about them being stabbed in the back. That was also why he said Gu Yang's defeat Chiring To that favored from the 36th monastery wasn't a bad thing. That could be said to be a lesson for everyone. Suddenly, the space around them trembled, and their feet stepped down onto a simple brick path. Chapter 309 Han Shian Iu Translator Born to be we've arrived. Long Chen looked around him. This was an extremely large plaza. There were over a hundred groups present. Those groups were in a semicircle around the center of the plaza. Long Chen noticed that there was a certain design under each of those groups. After carefully examining them, Long Chen noticed they were archaic characters for numbers, going from number 1 to number 108. All of them suddenly realized that they were actually the last to arrive. The only open area was the spot numbering 108. Their arrival immediately attracted attention from the others. Some gazes were curious, some were indifferent but the absolute majority were disdainful. And yet, when they sensed their auras, that disdain became amazement. Of their 108th monastery, Tang Wanner's cultivation base was the highest. A couple days ago, she had advanced to the 7th vestige of Tendon Transformation, and her aura was shocking to these people. Other than Tang Wanner, the others were also extremely powerful. Their auras like sharp, unsheathed blades that made it so others didn't dare look at them directly. Huh? Someone at blood condensation. Some people finally noticed Long Chen. Although he had been hiding amongst the other core disciples, there were still people who noticed him. There was no way around it. Long Chen's cultivation base was the lowest of everyone present. It was impossible to hide. He is that rumored chosen? TCH. What shocking boasting. Even if you beat me to death, I wouldn't believe he could fight an eight temper bone forging expert. A core disciple sneer rang through the air. I heard he was supposed to have defeated Jiang Yifen? I bet that was just a complete lie. With Jiang Yifen's status, he probably was too lazy to even meet with such a person. 
He probably felt even explaining the lie would be too disgraceful for him. Edit on another person. Although they were talking quietly, it rang out clearly in all these experts' ears noveloon.com at the first monastery's position. There was a certain extraordinary, handsome man who was surrounded by several beautiful women, similar to how stars flocked around the moon. That man was acclaimed as the number one expert within the monasteries, a chosen amongst chosen, Han Shian Ayu. That person is Long Chen? He looks like he might have a couple tricks, but he's incredibly lacking compared to big brother Shian Ayu. A pretty woman beside Han Shian Ayu indifferently glanced at Long Chen. That woman was slender with an alluring waist. When combined with her not bad looking face, she could count as a beauty, but her chest was completely flat. A surface so flat that not even a housefly would be able to rest there. That caused her to lose a bit of her seductive beauty. Han Shian Ayu shook his head. Junior apprentice sister E. Saying it like that is a mistake. This Long Chen is extremely strong. Those rumors are not necessarily false. That woman was called Yun Wushuang. She was also a chosen. However, she had only just been given that title. She was precisely the one who had become a chosen the day after Tu Fang had been told there were no more chosen positions to give out. Yin Wushuang was an extremely powerful favored, and she also had an incredibly powerful background. She had only just joined the first monastery. However, she wasn't the same as other disciples. She had joined the first monastery expressly because of Han Shian Ayu. She was one of his worshippers. Han Shian Ayu was acclaimed as the strongest junior expert of the Zhuanshan Super Monastery. He possessed a confident kind of handsomeness, and he had countless female worshippers. Yin Wushuang was one of them, and she was one of the more obsessed members. Brother Shian Ayu, you really are too modest. The current him is definitely unable to block even three of your attacks. Yin Wushuang smiled. Han Shian Ayu shook his head. The fact he could defeat Chiringan a temper bone forging expert with his cultivation base means he really is very powerful. But if I were to attack him at this point, that really would be bullying. I'll wait until he advances to tendon transformation. Perhaps then he'll interest me a bit. As for now, haha. <laughs> Although Han Shian Ayu appeared like a calm and indifferent person, he emitted an unconcealable arrogance. That kind of arrogance had an incredible effect on these young women just awakening to feelings of love. Haha, <laughs> brother Shian Ayu, sister Biluo has been staring at Long Chen this entire time. It seems she's a bit interested Yun Wushuang's gaze suddenly turned to the group beside them. Right beside the first monastery was the second monastery. Within the entire super monastery, only the second monastery was able to slightly contend against their first monastery. But in the past thousands of years, they had only ever taken the first ranking once. Although they were suppressed by the first monastery, the second monastery also had an extremely profound foundation. They might be able to surpass the first monastery at any time. The second monastery was the only one truly capable of contesting against the first monastery, and the second monastery's strongest disciple was Huabiluo. Huabiluo was extremely mysterious. She had always been hidden by the second monastery. Only recently had she been revealed to the outer world. It was said that Huabiluo was the second monastery's secret weapon and was extremely powerful. However, none of them knew how powerful she was, as not even the second monastery's disciples had ever seen her fight. Han Shian Ayu frowned slightly. Huabiluo had an elegant figure. Her long hair fell to her waist. Her willowy eyebrows spread out lightly, and a dazzling brightness came from her phoenix eyes. She was curiously gazing at the distant Long Chen. With that kind of beauty, there was no man who didn't admire her. Even Han Shian Ayu felt his heart beat faster when he looked at her beauty. Yin Wushuang's words irritated him slightly, but he didn't display it, merely smiling slightly. It's no wonder she's curious. Anyone would find it curious that a little fellow only at blood condensation would be able to enter the Jiuli secret realm. Oh really? Okay then. If Sister Biluo had instead become interested in that little fellow's face, that would make Brother Shian Ayu hurt. Yin Yushuang easily saw through what he was really thinking. Han Shian Ayu merely smiled without saying anything, but there was clearly a bit of unhappiness in his eyes. Hua Biluo's actions truly dissatisfied him. Who knew whether she had done it intentionally or not? But that beauty Hua Biluo hadn't even looked at him once since arriving. She had even acted as if she hadn't heard his courteous greeting, causing him a bit of anger. But as soon as Long Chen arrived, she immediately focused on him. Although he knew that should just be curiosity, it still dissatisfied him. Let's go to our position. Ling Yunzi obviously was already accustomed to this kind of jeering, and he brought them away. 
Long Chen and the others looked back at those gazes. Not only was there dislike and contempt, there was also a great deal of provocation. They thought back to what Long Chen had said just before. The righteous path's people were all just a bunch of rats, meek when they were weak, but then tyrants when they could be. When they saw their own people, they would look down on them disdainfully, but as soon as they saw those savage corrupt disciples, they'd flee into the wind. Tang wan -er saw that in those groups, there was always one person who was surrounded by beauties at the front. That made it obvious those people at the front were the lead disciples of their groups. Tang wan -er cast a stealthy glance at Ye's Hikyu. Ye's Hikyu's icy face reddened slightly, but she still nodded. Long Chen had been walking amongst the other core disciples in a very low-key manner when a burst of fragrance appeared, and two soft arms wrapped around his arms, pulling closer towards him. Long Chen instantly stiffened, looking at Tang wan -er and Ye's Hikyu in shock. He had no idea what they were doing. Why were they suddenly acting so affectionate? Don't say anything, and don't let your imagination run wild. This is just to win some honor for our monastery. Tang wan -er quietly whispered to Long Chen while holding his arm. At this time, Tang wan -er's face had a shy bashfulness to it, and a beautiful, charming light shone in her eyes. That kind of look could make a person melt. As for Ye's Hikyu, when that trace of redness appeared on her icy face, that made her beauty even more irresistible. Being escorted, arm in arm, by two beauties, Long Chen practically forgot how to walk. Gu Yang and the others immediately understood what Tang wan -er and Ye's Hikyu were doing, and they respectfully opened a path for them to walk to the front. Just at this moment, Guo Ran took out a gong and smashed a hammer onto it, releasing a loud sound. After striking the gong, Guo Ran then took out two huge banners, one saying silence, the other saying step back. Glancing at the solemn Guo Ran, Long Chen had an urge to throttle him. All his face had been thrown away by him today. As expected, whether it was the disciples of even the sect leaders, they were all stupefied as they watched Long Chen's procession. Ling Yunzi smiled and didn't say anything. If his kids wanted to make some noise, he would let them. When Tang wan -er and Ye's Hikia walked to the front of the group with Long Chen, quite a few women's eyes lit up. Although Long Chen was handsome, he was still slightly inferior to Han Shai and Ayu in that aspect. However, Long Chen possessed a certain wildness that he did not possess. Seeing that dangerous, mysterious wildness, it felt as if Long Chen was an untamable leopard, causing people to feel that he was both dangerous, as well as beautiful. They had an urge to attempt to subdue him. However, most people weren't thinking of that. That was because most of the ones present were men who wanted to kill Long Chen and take this place. Tang wan -er and Ye's Hikia were both top beauties. And the most amazing thing about them was that their two beauties were completely different. The two of them contrasted with each other perfectly. And combined, that level of beauty shook their souls and made it so they were unable to breathe. Each man present felt their envy practically drive them insane. Some of them were able to restrain that envy, but there were some who weren't able to hold back, and their eyes turned green from their envy. Even the usually indifferent Han Shian I revealed some envy in his eyes. Only now did he realize both Tang wan -er and Ye's Hikia were also exceptionally beautiful, not at all inferior to Hua Biluo. Because they had to go the 108th position, they had to walk past every single one of the other groups. When they walked in front of the first monastery, Long Chen sensed something and turned to glance at Han Shian Ayu. However, at this time, Han Shian Ayu was sitting down with his eyes closed. This person is extremely powerful. That was Long Chen's first thought. He sensed an incredible pressure from Han Shian Ayu's body. He also felt an indescribable threat. Once he arrived at the second monastery, he saw a beautiful woman wearing apricot yellow robes. She smiled slightly at Long Chen. Long Chen was a bit startled, and based on courtesy, he was about to return a smile when he felt a sharp pain from his waist. Chapter 310 Domineering Ling Yunzi Translator Born to be Long Chen was just about to smile back when he felt a sharp pain from his waist. With Long Chen's powerful physical body, as long as he was on guard, others were unable to cause him any pain by pinching him. However, he hadn't been on guard at that time. Furthermore, Tang wan -er was now incredibly used to doing this. She had practiced her technique on Long Chen so often that now her pinching skills had reached the point of perfection. In fact, perhaps they wouldn't fall short of Long Chen's face slapping technique. In addition, Tang wan -er had just advanced to the seventh vestige of tendon transformation. The power from her hands was able to break through Long Chen's defenses, making him feel pain. Hua Biluo had heard quite a few rumors about Long Chen, but she had always felt they weren't so likely. 
But after seeing his cultivation base today, she couldn't help feeling a bit curious. The cultivation technique she cultivated was special, and she possessed an extremely sharp perception towards threats. She could actually feel pressure from a youth who was only at the blood condensation realm. That meant Long Chen really was very powerful. Furthermore, she also sensed an extremely odd aura from him. She felt that Long Chen was different from all the other male disciples. Most importantly, in front of this many people's gazes, many of which were disdainful and contemptuous, his heart didn't ripple in the slightest, or at the very least, she was unable to sense any change in his mood. That all caused Hua Biluo to become curious about Long Chen. Adding on all the rumors she had heard about him, she found him quite interesting, and thus she gave him a smile. Long Chen also returned a smile to her, however his smile was extremely unnatural. It seemed to be one containing both happiness and pain. With Hua Biluo's sharp senses, she immediately saw through Tang Wan Er's hidden action. She covered her cherry lips with her hand, laughing silently. As soon as you see someone pretty, you have to try and seduce her. Have you forgotten big sister Chu Yao? With such a fickle heart, how will you be worthy of her? How will you be worthy of me? Tang Wan Er quietly raged into his ear. Long Chen felt wrongly accused. How did I try to seduce her? I was just trying to be polite, but now wasn't the time to explain himself. He could only thicken his face and continue forward. He, it seems Sister Biluo really does treat this Long Chen differently. Yin Wushuang saw everything very clearly and laughed. Han Shian Iu only smiled slightly without saying anything, but there was an unconcealable displeasure in his eyes. Han Shian Iu had always been a genius. Before his twenties, he managed to reach the ninth heaven stage of tendon transformation. He was the top genius to appear in the entire super monastery in the past 3,000 years. Whatever he wanted, he got. But there was a certain phrase that was extremely correct. The more you couldn't obtain something, the more precious it was. There were countless beauties by his side. Although, for their cultivation, he was unable to give his body to them. But in his heart, they were all already his women. Han Shian Iu delighted in that kind of feeling. But the instant he had first seen Hua Biluo, he had been aroused by her extraordinary aura. However, Hua Biluo hadn't even bothered to look at him this entire time. That was his first time running into someone who would refuse him, causing him extreme displeasure. But it hadn't irritated him too much, as Hua Biluo also displayed an icy expression to all men. But now she had clearly shown interest in Long Chen. Now he felt a profound sense of defa during the thing Han Shian Iya was most proud of was his powerful strength, as well as his handsome exterior. Combined. He was able to suppress all the men on the same level as him. His handsomeness allowed him to easily win over all women's hearts. He already had droves of beauties around him. Amongst his beautiful admirers were Yun Wushuang, tens of core disciples, and as for outer and inner disciples, they were so many that they couldn't be counted. Although Hua Biluo had only displayed a slight interest in Long Chen, to the proud Han Shian Iu, that was already a kind of humiliation. No wonder sect leader secretly ordered us to make sure Long Chen disappears within the Jiuli secret realm. He definitely is loathsome. Looking at Long Chen's back, a faint killing intent came out of him. Oh, Long Chen suddenly sensed something and turned to look back. He saw Han Shian Iu still maintaining his calm, closed-eyed sitting position, not even looking at him. Did I sense wrong? Long Chen was doubtful. Just now he had sensed killing intent coming straight from Han Shian Iu. He had no enmity with him, so Long Chen really couldn't figure out why he would feel killing intent for him. Although Han Shian Iya was still maintaining his previous calm appearance, Long Chen trusted his spiritual perception. That was because his spiritual perception had never let him down. This finding put Long Chen on guard. Just now, when they had walked by the first monastery, Long Chen had been shocked to see that the first monastery really had far too many experts. They had a total 143 core disciples present, 28 favored, and other than Han Shian Iu, there were also three other powerful auras with skyrocketing wills who were all chosen. As for the second monastery, they only had 109 core disciples, 10 favored, and 3 chosen. That truly gave Long Chen a fright. These monasteries all had profound foundations. Their 108th monastery couldn't compare to them. Although Long Chen's generation was praised as the 108th monastery's strongest generation, they were still unable to compare to them. Long Chen, this time you'll definitely die within the Jiuli secret realm. Properly enjoy your final moments. Just as Long Chen was walking, a man suddenly sneered at them from one of the groups. Everyone was startled. 
turning to look who it was who would so openly provoke them. It's Jiang Yifen. I heard Jiang Yifen lost to Long Chen. Looks like the rumors are true. They had heard rumors that the 36th monastery had brought its disciples to teach a lesson to the 108th monastery, only to return dejectedly in failure. Although the 36th monastery had had some disciples who had secretly sold of photographic jades, those photographic jades were exclusive to the higher-ups of the monasteries. Disciples were unable to obtain them. But now seeing Jiang Yifen clenching his teeth angrily, everyone was startled. Was it possible Long Chen was really that powerful? Tang Wan'er and the others were all infuriated that Jiang Yifen would be so vicious and openly curse Long Chen like this. They were about to retort when Long Chen stopped them. He smiled kindly at Jiang Yifen. Does your face hurt? You. PFFT. As soon as Jiang Yifen heard that, it was as if he had been poisoned. His face turned black and he coughed up blood. Those words of Long Chen's had already been deeply imprinted in his soul now. In the past few days, he had even heard that voice in his dreams. Although his body had been healed by precious medicines, Long Chen had already become his heart devil, and he had no way of further cultivating. Hearing his voice again instantly caused a backlash and made him cough out blood. Gu Yang and the others all laughed at that. They really had to prostrate themselves to Long Chen in admiration. Even Long Chen's words practically had the power to kill. In front of the 36th monastery's disciples were a man and woman. That woman was viciously glaring at Long Chen, wishing to bite him to death. She was Luo Bing. Beside her was a tall and stalwart man. He was Luo Bing's brother, the 36th monastery sect leader, Luo Fang. Originally, all the sect leaders had just been sitting at the front of their groups. That was especially true of those sect leaders from the top-ranking monasteries. They even had their eyes closed, not deigning to even look at what was going on, as if they were too lofty to care. Amongst the monasteries, sect leaders also had different levels. Obviously a sect leader like Ling Yunzi who was the sect leader of the last ranking monastery was not worthy of them even glancing at him. That was how haughty they were. But Luo Feng didn't have that high loftiness. Or perhaps it would be more accurate to say that he didn't have a high enough level of self-restraint. He icily said, Ling Yunzi, this is how you've taught your disciples. Ling Yunzi suddenly paused and slowly turned to indifferently glance at Luo Feng. How I teach my disciples has nothing to do with you. Keep your wild dogs from randomly biting people. Ling Yunzi's words were incredibly impolite, startling quite a few sect leaders. Although sect leaders also had open struggles occasionally, it seemed there had never been someone to so brazenly and openly show no respect at all. That was especially the case since Ling Yunzi's monastery was ranked last, while the 36th monastery was at least middle ranking. Just where did this confidence come from? Ling Yunzi, you dare be so unbridled, raged Luo Fang. He hadn't expected him to dare insult him like this. Don't pay attention to this pack of wild dogs. Let's go. Ling Yunzi didn't even glance at that brother and sister, simply bringing everyone away. Long Chen couldn't help secretly giving Ling Yunzi a thumbs up. Such a sect leader was definitely worth respecting. He cupped his fists, and with his fists cupped at Luo Feng and Luo Bing, he raised his middle finger high into the air before following Ling Yunzi. Guo Ran and the others imitated him all of them turning to the two of them and raising their middle finger high into the air to display their respect. Raising the middle finger was a vulgar way of cursing people in the secular world. These grand and lofty cultivators wouldn't use such a gesture, but that didn't mean they didn't understand what it meant, and it was because they knew what it meant that everyone was dumbstruck. Just what was the 108th monastery planning on doing? Ling Yunzi, are you looking to die? Luo Feng was completely infuriated, his aura exploding out. The space around him solidified. Those with weaker cultivation bases were unable to move, and their faces were pale as paper, blood flowing from the corner of their mouths. If you don't reserve your aura, I will cut off your head within ten moves. Ling Yunzi's face was ice cold as he stared at Luo Fang. His right hand slowly gripped the sword hilt on his back, and a formless aura locked Luo Fang in place. The instant Ling Yunzi's hand gripped his sword, all of heaven and earth became silent. A formless sword will was gathering. Those sect leaders, who had still been ignoring this, all opened their eyes now, looking at Ling Yunzi in shock. Sword Control Realm. One sect leader couldn't help stuttering out. This Sword Control Realm was a powerful realm for sword cultivators. It was something completely unrelated to cultivation base. It was something harder to reach than cultivation breakthroughs. The more advanced a sword cultivator was in terms of the sword Dao, the more power they would be able to release. 
the reason sword cultivators were said to be unmatched within the same level was not just an empty claim. As for these sect leaders, although they weren't sword cultivators, they at least knew a bit about sword cultivator realms. As for Luo Fang, the instant he was locked down by Ling Yunzi's sword will, he didn't dare move an inch. If he dared move, he would instantly meet Ling Yunzi's full strength attack. He had no assurance at all in being able to block that attack. But if he put away his aura, then he really would have lost all his face. For a moment, all he could do was sweat. Stop. Chapter 311 Entering the Secret Realm Translator Born to be stopped. Suddenly, a gentle force spread out and everyone felt the pressure that had been crushing them disappear. Long Chen hastily turned to see that at some point, a white-haired elder had appeared in the plaza. That elder looked like an ordinary mortal, without the slightest spiritual key fluctuation or pressure. And yet, just by standing there, he seemed like a vast ocean, and no one dared to disrespect him. Greetings Assistant Monastery Head. The sect leaders all quickly bowed towards that white-haired elder respectfully. That elder simply waved his hand slightly, and the sect leaders got up from their bows. However, they didn't dare continue sitting. As sect leaders, you are examples of virtue and character. For you to fight in front of this many disciples, are you not afraid of your disciples laughing at you? That white-haired elder shook his head, reporting to assistant monastery head. It was Ling Yunzi who Luo Feng hastily went to explain. Let it be. I can't be bothered with your trivial matters. If you want to fight, that's your own matter. For an old man like myself, as long as I don't see it, I won't care. As long as it doesn't break the super monastery's rules, that's fine. That white-haired elder impatiently cut him off, turning to look at the many disciples present. His drowsy eyes suddenly brightened. Not bad. After being in seclusion for a hundred years, there are so many good sprouts now oh. That white-haired elder let out a sound of surprise when he saw Long Chen. He stared closely at him. Long Chen immediately felt as if all his secrets were exposed to this elder, and he couldn't help feeling a burst of uneasiness. Senior, if you look at Junior like that, Junior will become shy. Long Chen couldn't help feeling awkward. That elder's cultivation base definitely surpassed Long Chen's knowledge. But no matter how powerful a person was, they shouldn't just randomly pry into other people's secrets. Cough. You should all return to your groups. The white-haired man awkwardly coughed. Just now he had been too curious and activated his spiritual eye to examine Long Chen's meridians. It was true that Long Chen was not a woman, but doing so was still impolite. That white-haired man had truly been shocked. That was because Long Chen didn't have a danshan. All his energy was concealed in his left foot. If that was all, he wouldn't be so shocked. After all, there were all kinds of curious cultivation techniques in this world. But he was most shocked that Long Chen's energy actually rejected his prying. He had only just gotten a glance when his spiritual eye felt a burst of pain. With that white haired elder's cultivation base, even using his spiritual eye on a sect leader wouldn't cause such a reaction. This little fellow is pretty strange. And that big fellow is also extremely strange. Huh. When did the monasteries get so many oddities? He muttered inside. However, he still put on a calm expression for everyone. The Jiuli secret realm only opens once a century. Each time, it only stays open for a year. I suppose you should all already know the basics. So I won't continue about that. There are a couple things I want to warn you about. First of all, the Jiuli secret realm is completely unfathomable. No one knows what is going on with it. Although there are countless treasures inside it, there are also countless dangers. The slightest carelessness can cause you to forfeit your life. I'd advise you not to treat this lightly. Second, those dangers are all split into different levels. Some of the dangers are even able to instantly obliterate Xi'anshan experts. Of course, such dangers are easy to avoid. The greatest danger, that cannot be avoided, is the corrupt path. The Jiuli secret realm's openings spread throughout several prefectures. Both the righteous and corrupt paths each control a portion. The opening our super monastery controls is just one of Su prefecture's openings. Don't fight and kill each other because of treasures. Don't fight with other members of the righteous path, and most definitely do not fight with fellow disciples of the monasteries. That is absolutely not permitted, or you will be punished by the super monastery's rules. Long Chen smiled mockingly. Who was he trying to scare? Ling Yunzi had long since told everyone the truth. Each time the Jiuli secret realm opened, just how many people were really killed by the corrupt path? Wasn't it more like that the majority were all killed by their own people? To say these things now, this elder was just trying to scare the cowards. 
If you really thought his words would prevent the monastery's disciples from killing each other, then you would probably die without knowing what had happened. In any case, Long Chen had already warned Tang Wan'er and the other core disciples that other than members from the 108th monastery, they were not to trust anyone else. As for whether other people really believed this elder's words, it was easy to tell just by looking at everyone's expressions. Probably his nonsense would only be able to trick a ghost. The various sect leaders weren't all idiots. But this did mean one thing. If you were to take action against someone from the same sect, you would have to kill them in one blow. And if you weren't able to kill them, you had to at least remove any proof. Otherwise, once you left the secret realm, if there was proof that you sneak attacked your fellow disciples in the secret realm, then you would be heavily punished. They would either cripple your cultivation base or directly kill you. So unless it was truly an especially precious treasure or unless you had an extremely great assurance, you couldn't take action against your fellow sect members. That did at least reduce the probability of fellow disciples killing each other. If other members of the righteous path attack you, then you don't need to have that many misjivings. After all, you can't let people just steal your treasures. But everyone should always remember, your one enemy is the corrupt path. At critical times, you must always work together against them. Long Chen almost vomited. What kind of reasoning was that? Had his head rotted? Everyone fought against everyone for treasures, but he wanted them to work together at critical moments? Did they think they were all good little friends? Finally, I'll say one last thing. There are countless treasures in the Jiuli secret realm, and if you can't tell what something is, do your best to bring it back with you. The elders from the monasteries can help you appraise it. Even if you can't use it, the monastery will still give you a large reward in accordance to whatever treasure you wish to trade. Each century when the Jiuli secret realm opened, it was not just beneficial to the disciples, but it was also beneficial to the supermonastery. It was said that this world had experienced a huge change in the past. Many of history's miraculous cultivation techniques and treasures had been lost now. There were many treasures in the secret realm that could make up for that loss, but unfortunately, Many disciples were unable to even tell what those things were, that had caused those old fellows to become a bit crazy, and even want to personally barge in to see what treasures lay in the secret realm. It was a crazy thought, but there were still many crazies who had tried it out. As a result, a Xi'anchen expert had only just stepped into the secret realm when he was obliterated, blown to pieces by a bizarre energy. And yet, that still didn't stop the crazies. In the past millennia, there were countless experts who had been unconvinced and thought they could cause a miracle, only to be killed by the secret realm. Those people seemed to have been infected by a disease. After hundreds of Xi'anchen experts had been killed, that crazy disease seemed to have also died out. So each major power now treated the opening of the Jiuli secret realm extremely importantly. Many of their disciples had brought back heaven-defying treasures out of the secret realm. There were all kinds of treasures. Some were broken armors of the ancient era. And yet, although they were broken, Xi'anchen experts were unable to harm them. There were also vicious beasts from the ancient era that were extinct in the outside world. They had continued to proliferate in the secret realm. However, those beasts were under some kind of restriction within the Jiuli secret realm. Magical beasts were unable to grow past the fifth rank inside. The Jiuli secret realm was extremely large. Those fifth rank magical beasts were all in different regions. If you were slightly careless and walked into their territory, then it might not even be possible to flee. It was said the entire bodies of those beasts were treasures, whether it was their blood, flesh, bones, or especially their crystal cores or needons. Those were all extremely valuable and could be sold for high prices, perhaps to be used as medicines or weapons. It was said there were also immortal medicines inside. Once someone consumed one, they could possess immortal life without ever losing their youth. Furthermore, it was said someone from the supermonastery had managed to obtain one of those immortal medicines before. However, whether that was true or not, no one knew. In any case, everyone treated the Jiuli secret realm as a world of treasures. Of course, there were also plenty of dangers. Dead people wouldn't get to enjoy those treasures. That elder once more warned everyone about a couple things to take note of before suddenly clapping his hands. Heaven and earth began to shake intensely. Countless runes appeared over the ground, and at the same time, everyone realized they were somehow unable to move anymore. Conveyance art, that elder shouted, and heaven and earth suddenly changed. The scene before them disappeared, and everyone appeared in front of a huge abyss. People were horrified to see that this abyss was endlessly deep and wide. They couldn't see the bottom, 
and it looked like a huge mouth that wished to devour the sky. In front of that huge abyss, everyone felt themselves to just be insignificant ants. Heaven and earth trembled, and a terrifying pressure descended, a pressure so strong that everyone felt as if their bones were about to break apart. The sect leaders all took the majority of that pressure for themselves, helping their disciples face off against it. That berserk pressure devastated them for over a full day and night before gradually stopping. Even the sect leaders were covered in sweat after blocking it for so long. Buzz. Suddenly, a huge crack gradually tore open within the dark abyss. People were shocked to see another world on the other side of that crack. Endless mountain ranges, ancient trees soaring into the sky, huge vines that coiled like dragons, and mountains that looked to climb as high as the heavens. However, people felt as if they were disconnected, and they were unable to sense that world's aura. It looked like a lively painting of a landscape. That crack spread for hundreds of miles, and it was also a hundred miles wide. It was extremely bizarre to them. When that crack first appeared, that white-haired elder had immediately started forming hand seals. Following his hand seals, an enormous rune appeared behind him. But if someone were to look at it closely, they would be able to tell that this rune was actually made of tens of thousands of smaller runes. That rune lit up this entire space. 10,000 runic space expansion. Under the urging of that elder's hand seals, the huge rune flew over to the enormous spatial crack. When it reached the center of that crack, the rune instantly exploded into countless smaller runes. Those runes formed a circular door in the center of the crack. After finishing that, the white-haired elder turned slightly pale. I wish you all luck. That elder's hand suddenly crossed, and Long Chen and the others all felt their bodies shake as they involuntarily flew towards that door. Boom. When Long Chen passed through the door, he saw he was on top of a mountain. Jiuli Secret Realm. I, Long Chen, have finally arrived. Chapter 312 Blood-Filled Poison Snake Translator Born to be Long Chen had just stepped into the Jiuli secret realm when a primordial aura gushed over him. His Feng Fu star began to circulate all on its own, crazily absorbing that aura. As that aura was absorbed by his Feng Fu star, Long Chen was surprised to realize that his Feng Fu star was quickly growing larger. Originally, it was just a small ball with indistinct images inside it, but now it seemed like it had become a whole new vibrant world. Beautiful and bizarre with lifelike mountains, plains, and rivers appearing within it. Could it be that this is the true ninth star transformation? Looking at his Feng Fu star, that seemed as if it was its own world. Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. He could sense a terrifying energy from his Feng Fu star. One that could annihilate the heavens, exterminate the land, and break apart the dome of the sky. But currently he could only sense the energy and was unable to use it. However, that was still enough to awe him. After the Feng Fu star quickly circulated for a while, it gradually calmed back down. Long Chen suddenly felt that his bottleneck had disappeared. His blood, which had been silent for so long, was finally absorbing more spiritual ki. Now Long Chen finally understood. The reason he had run into this impossible bottleneck and been unable to advance no matter what was because the outside world was now lacking this kind of primordial aura. Does the nine star hegemon body art have something to do with this primordial energy? Then once I leave the secret realm, won't I forever be unable to advance again? Long Chen was startled. He could sense his blood greedily absorbing that primordial energy, making him even more sure of his guess. No, the feeling of summoning still hasn't faded. There's definitely something in the secret realm that the nine star hegemon body art needs. Sensing his body, he realized his body didn't even need him to intentionally cultivate. His blood was like a starving monster that was crazily absorbing energy from the air. According to this speed, Long Chen was sure he could reach the great circle of blood condensation and advance to tendon transformation in less than a week. Looking around his surroundings, he saw that this world was in a state of eternal dusk, looking like primal chaos had filled the entire world. The surrounding mountains had many bizarre stones as well as huge trees. There were many plants that didn't exist in the outer world. Blood-filled star, Long Chen suddenly saw a precious medicinal herb located on a cliff not far from him. That herb was around a foot long, and there were blood-colored flowers that grew out of it. Those flowers were extremely small and covered the plant. They looked like blood-colored stars covering a sky. They emitted a faint scent. The blood-filled star was an extremely precious fifth-tier medicinal ingredient, a rare main ingredient for some fifth-tier medicinal pills. Long Chen noticed that there were actually tens of them growing out of the cliff, delighting him. The Jiuli secret realm really was filled with treasures. Even if he didn't need this kind of medicinal ingredient, 
he could still sell it for a huge number of other medicinal ingredients. Even if he offered it to the supermonastery, he would be able to obtain a vast amount of points to exchange for things he needed. Long Chen quickly climbed up that cliff. His hand was just about to touch one of them when he suddenly felt danger and jumped back quick as lightning. A ray of light shot right past Long Chen's hand. That was a small snake roughly as thin as a chopstick. That snake was covered in blood-colored spots that looked similar to the blood-filled star. Hiding within the blood-filled star, it was almost impossible to see it. Blood-filled poison snake. Long Chen let out a startled cry and hastily took a couple more steps back. Perhaps other disciples wouldn't be sure what this tiny little snake was. But Long Chen's pill god memories were able to recognize medicinal ingredients as well as some magical beasts. Noveloon.com This small snake wasn't a true magical beast. But it was even more terrifying than some of them. That was because its body didn't release any pressure. So it was difficult for people to sense them. It was just an extremely ordinary snake. Even a child would be able to smash it dead with a stick. But the world was filled with inconceivable existences. This tiny snake was incredibly venomous. Even fourth-tier magical beasts were unable to stop its poison. Its poison wouldn't take a person's life, but it would instantly paralyze them. Even bone-forging experts would be paralyzed. Although the paralysis wouldn't last long, perhaps only a quarter hour, that wasn't their most frightening point. Once it paralyzed you, the blood-filled poison snake would go to your eye, and using its tail, it would dig a hole straight through your head, devouring your brain tissue. Its tail had a sharp, sawtooth-like ending. It wasn't that sharp, but it could easily cut through a person's eye. Thinking of that kind of death, anyone would have their hair stand on end. There were many ways to die, but dying to the blood-filled poison snake was incredibly mournful. That was why Long Chen's expression had changed so greatly. In his carelessness just now, he had almost died. That couldn't be blamed on Long Chen. The blood-filled poison snake had already gone extinct in the outside world. The fact that it would appear now immediately raised Long Chen's guard. Within the Jiuli secret realm, anything could happen. A small carelessness could lead to death. Long Chen took out some long clamps and grabbed the blood-filled poison snake's head, not letting it open its mouth. Other than its toxicity, it was just an ordinary snake. Normally it would stay near blood-filled stars and sneak attack any magical beasts attracted to them. But now that Long Chen had noticed it, its speed was incomparable to Long Chen and it was easily caught. Long Chen took out a bottle and placed it inside. He sealed the bottle with cloth, afraid that a bottle stopper would make it suffocate. This thing could definitely be useful to Long Chen. He couldn't let it go to waste. Long Chen had a life ring it could be stored in temporarily. Long Chen then used a stick to lightly prod the blood-filled star several times while also using his spiritual strength to sense any changes. After confirming there were no more blood-filled poison snakes present, he carefully excavated the medicinal ingredient, leaving a bit of earth on its roots. No matter what medicinal ingredient it was, living medicinal ingredients were far superior to dead ones. However, keeping them alive was too difficult. Furthermore, refining them was also much more difficult. So the outer world's medicinal ingredients were all dead ones. However, a living blood-filled star was definitely much more valuable than a dead one. In any case, his life ring space was not small. With this experience, Long Chen carefully harvested 17 blood-filled stars as well as gaining over 20 blood-filled poison snakes. Those snakes hadn't all just been hiding within the blood-filled stars. Some of them had been hiding in the surrounding grass or cracks in the stone. They were extremely sly. That made Long Chen's guard go up even higher, and he no longer dared be the slightest bit careless. However, high risk came with high reward. Long Chen estimated that just these blood-filled stars would be enough to exchange for millions of points. Although millions of points were nothing to Long Chen now, he had only just entered the Jiuli secret realm, and was currently just in its outer areas. Such treasures had already appeared. Once he reached the core region, there would definitely be some heaven-defying opportunities for him. Just thinking about those would make people feel a burst of fiery passion. Seeing that there were no more medicinal ingredients around, Long Chen took out an iron spear from his spatial ring and used it as a walking stick. The blood-filled poison snakes had raised his guard to its peak. Who knew what bizarre things were around him? It was better for him to be cautious. Crack. He had been walking when that light sound rang out. Long Chen looked down to see that it was a bone. So many years had passed that it had already been eroded by the wind. Looking at its shape, it seemed to be a leg bone. The bone was a bit black. Its owner had probably died to poison. Long Chen sighed. 
Perhaps this person was from the previous opening of the Jiuli secret realm or the one before that. Most likely, this person had died just after entering. That really was an unlucky death. To die before even becoming accustomed to the surroundings. Long Chen continued several miles without seeing a single person. Before entering, Ling Yanzi had told him that the disciples sent into the Jiuli secret realm would all appear in more or less the same region. But that same region was a region that was tens of thousands of miles wide. So the chance of running into someone else wasn't that high. Furthermore, the Jiuli secret realm had several openings. So you would encounter both righteous and corrupt disciples. Mo Nian had told him that he would also enter the Jiuli secret realm. But he hadn't said what entrance he would come from. He took out a map that the Super Monastery had distributed to every disciple. This map was something created from successive generations of disciples entering the Jiuli secret realm. Each disciple was only able to contribute a small amount to it, but after enough people added and confirmed pieces of it, it had become extremely accurate. However, there were still many regions that were vague. Those places were either mostly empty or had a red mark on them. Those empty areas or areas written in red were all classified as danger regions with an extremely high probability of death. Long Chen carefully looked it over. There were actually tens of those danger regions. According to history, the Jiuli secret realm had begun to appear several tens of thousands of years ago. It took several attempts before people were finally able to enter. But even after being able to enter, even after so many years had passed, even after so many of their elite disciples had entered, no one had figured out the true identity of the Jiuli secret realm. At the beginning, some unknown person had brought out an inscribed board which had had characters from the immortal era on it. After going through countless tomes, People finally managed to decipher those two words were, J.I.U.L.E. 1. From then on, that secret realm was called the Jiuli secret realm. But as for the Jiuli secret realm's origins, all people had their guesses. There was not a single definitive explanation. Thus, trying to figure out the mysteries of the Jiuli secret realm had become something extremely enjoyable for the talented disciples of this era. That was because it was said that whoever could uncover the Jiuli secret realm secret would be able to obtain an invaluable treasure, allowing them to become a supreme figure. But of course, such nonsense was just used to trick idiots. The majority of people were focused on obtaining the real opportunities inside it. No one would care about what mystery was involved. Long Chen carefully continued advancing forward. His first goal was to reach something called the Serene Ancient Tomb. That was the closest place to him. It was said there was an immortal buried there, and it should have extremely large opportunities. Save me. Just as Long Chen was walking forward, a ragged woman suddenly rushed over at Long Chen in complete panic. Chapter 313 Contemptible Entrapment Translator Born to be Save Me Just as Long Chen was walking forward, a ragged woman suddenly rushed over at Long Chen in complete panic. The woman looked to be around 20 years old and appeared quite seductive, with her robes turned to rags. Her chest was half-naked, revealing her incredibly deep cleavage. Her jade legs were also showing through those rags, a sight that made it hard for people to breathe. When that woman saw Long Chen, she lit up with joy and rushed over to him, quickly wrapping her arm around Long Chen's arm. Perhaps it was because she was too frightened, but she didn't seem to notice her bare chest tightly pressing onto his arm. She begged, Senior Apprentice Brother, please save me. Someone's trying to kill me. Oh? Who's trying to kill you? How come I don't see anyone? Long Chen looked into the distance and didn't see anyone. The instant Long Chen turned to look, that woman's terrified expression vanished to be replaced with a sneer. A chilling dagger appeared in her hand and she went to stab it into Long Chen's chest. I advise you not to move. If you do, I won't hold back. Long Chen's voice was icy cold. That woman suddenly felt a sharp pain on her throat. At some point, the spear in Long Chen's hand had lightly pierced her throat. As for her, she had only just taken out her dagger and it was still far away from Long Chen's body. Long Chen would have more than enough time to kill her and then still dodge her dagger. That woman's expression changed. But in an instant, she put on a lovely, pitiful expression. Dropping her dagger, she begged, Please senior apprentice brother, forgive me. I had everything stolen from me by two monastery disciples. Even my pure body was stolen away. I was embarrassed and angry. And that's why I wanted to kill you to vent. I'm also a victim. After saying that, she began to cry miserably, a sight that would make anyone feel sorry for her. But Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit moved. He icily said, do you think I'm an idiot? Just by looking at you, I can tell you're still a virgin. 
You actually have the nerve to spout such wild lies? Are you looking down on me? Just who was Long Chen? He had merged with the pill god's memories, and knew the body's meridians like the back of his palm. How could it be possible for him to not notice if a woman was a virgin or not? Ah, that woman clearly hadn't expected Long Chen's vision to be so perceptive. He wasn't at all like some spoiled young master. She had immediately been seen through. Speak. Why did you want to kill me? I, I, I should die. I was consumed by my greed. Please forgive Junior Sister. Due to the fact I'm a woman. Can you please spare me this once? Junior Sister is willing to give anything to you. Even if Senior Brother wants Junior Sister's body. Junior Sister is willing. Begged that woman. Who knew whether it was intentional or whether it was just her trembling. But the majority of her ragged robes now fell down even lower. And her entire upper body was laid bare to Long Chen. Seeing that. Long Chen could immediately feel a certain desire of his begin to awaken, but he instantly suppressed it. Even with death before you, you still want to play this little game. Your spiritual strength is still circulating, waiting for me to relax so you can suddenly kill me. Unfortunately, you've overestimated your seductiveness, but that's fine too. Now we can end this quicker. Long Chen's spear pierced forward ever so slightly. No, Long Chen, don't kill me. That woman was finally truly terrified. She could sense Long Chen's bone-chilling killing intent. As expected, you know who I am. Hurry up and talk. My patience has a limit. In truth, I, that woman was somewhat hesitant as she stuttered. Long Chen was about to say something to get her to hurry up when two figures suddenly appeared, running over to them. Long Chen, you contemptible, shameless, perverted traitor. You dare rape a beauty in broad daylight. TCH, how are you a member of our righteous path? Hurry up and release this junior sister, shouted one of them. Before Long Chen could say anything, that woman shouted, Senior apprentice brothers, save me. This Long Chen is a bestial-hearted traitor. I refused to be humiliated, and so he actually wanted to kill me. Long Chen, hurry up and release that junior sister. I've already recorded your pervertedness on a photographic jade. Do you want this video to be released to the public? Those two were both core disciples wearing robes of the monastery. That mark on their chest had a number 45 written on it. In other words, these two were from the 45th monastery. Long Chen smiled. Were you all colluding? That woman sneered and pulled up her robes, covering her chest. If you're smart, you'll take away your spear you shameless, perverted traitor. PFFT. Long Chen's spear left that woman's throat. She had just smiled when she felt a burst of pain from her chest. Long Chen's spear had pierced her chest. That woman looked at her chest in shock and disbelief. She felt her life rapidly fading. You really are all idiots. You came to target me without even knowing what kind of person I am. Did you not know that I never submit to threats? Long Chen icily stared at that woman. With his intelligence, would he really not be able to see through their little ploy? Those two core disciples were clearly one team with that woman. That woman first acted like some weak, helpless woman, using her half-naked body to draw Long Chen's attention. If he was the inexperienced young master type, he would have been drawn to her body and then directly killed by her sneak attack. But since Long Chen hadn't fallen for it, the woman had then started putting on a play. But that had also been seen through by Long Chen. Now these two disciples came to use their photographic jades to threaten Long Chen to release her. It went without saying that this ploy of theirs was extremely vicious. If Long Chen let the woman go, they would still definitely spread a portion of that photographic jades video out to the public in order to ruin Long Chen's name. If Long Chen instead killed her, that would be even worse. Even if Long Chen could survive to the end of the Jiuli secret realm, he would still be heavily punished by the super monastery. That was why that woman had dared mock Long Chen. She didn't believe he would do anything to her. Unfortunately, she really didn't understand Long Chen. Long Chen had never once bowed down to any threat. He might be afraid of other things, but he wasn't afraid of trouble. He flung that woman to the ground. By that time, she was already dead her eyes listlessly looking up at the sky, filled with confusion and unwillingness. Long Chen, you berserk sex fiend, we'll definitely punish you. Once we announce this to the whole world, you'll be chased down and killed by the entire righteous path. One person roared at him, but he had already turned to flee. The other person was also the same, but they were smart, and they didn't flee in the same direction. They had heard Long Chen had the ability to fight Chosen, and so they weren't a match for him. Long Chen had to choose which one of them to chase, and which one of them to let go. Then, in his hesitation, he would lose any chance to catch up to either one of them. Long Chen snorted, 
and without even thinking about it, he charged at one of them. That person was extremely fast, but he had only gone less than a mile when Long Chen caught up to him. That core disciple suddenly turned rigid as he was locked down by a terrifying murderous aura. Long Chen's spear pierced right through his body, the terrifying force within it causing his entire body to explode. Long Chen caught the photographic jade that had been in his hand and instantly crushed it to pieces. Then he didn't pause at all before charging at the other disciple. After this time, that core disciple was already several miles away. As he ran, he also shouted, Long Chen, that perverted traitor, has wickedly killed a woman of the righteous path. He also wants to kill others to silence them. Everyone, quickly come look. As a core disciple, his voice was extremely loud and it could be heard clearly for hundreds of miles. Long Chen's expression changed ever so slightly. He sensed quite a few auras quickly rushing over in this direction. There were several of them whose auras were stronger. They should be favored. He had to kill this bastard before those people arrived, or they would have succeeded in smearing him. Long Chen quickly increased his speed, shooting out like an angry arrow. That person was horrified to see Long Chen's spear piercing right at him, and he quickly raised his weapon to block it. Bang! His weapon instantly exploded and he also vomited out blood as he was knocked back. In front of Long Chen's terrifying strength, that core disciple was practically unable to block a single blow. Long Chen instantly appeared in front of him, his spear stabbing down. A huge hole was pierced through his abdomen, and he flew back into a brush, instantly dying. And yet, even as he had died, he had continued clenching that photographic jade in his hand. Long Chen quickly went up to grab it. But the instant his hand touched the jade, die. Two harsh attacks went straight for Long Chen's chest and back. They were so fast that their attacks almost arrived at the same time as that voice rang out. That attack was incomparably quick. It contained a terrifying power. Long Chen instinctively dodged to the side, and the two attacks collided, causing an explosive sound. Long Chen didn't have time to see who was attacking him. He needed that photographic jade. He reached out his hand. But a huge claw suddenly grabbed that corpse before Long Chen could grab it. Long Chen was startled by that huge claw, and immediately punched out. Scram. A different huge, metallic claw attacked him from the back. Long Chen was infuriated. He had to swing his fist to block this other claw. That claw was sent flying, but that delay was enough for the other claw to bring away that corpse along with the photographic jade. Ha ha ha. Long Chen. Today us brothers will see just how you die. An incredible loathsome voice caused Long Chen's killing intent to skyrocket. Chapter 314 Courting Disaster Translator Born to be Long Chen turned to look in the direction that voice had come from, and as expected, he saw two identical faces sneering at him. These two were Bo Shitang and Bo Shixi, the two that Guo Ran had termed as worthless good-for-nothings. With their extremely hateful faces and their incredibly loathsome voices, Long Chen couldn't forget them even if he wanted to. Last time they had sunk to a new low and actually cursed Tang Wan or obscenely. As a result, they had nearly been killed. Now they were lively and healthy again in front of Long Chen. He, how surprising. I never thought that you, Long Chen, were actually a perverted traitor. Then let me see just what is recorded in this for you to want to murder people to silence them. One of them touched the photographic jade, and an image appeared in midair. That scene was Long Chen pointing his spear at the throat of a woman who was in rags and practically naked. That woman's expression was miserable, while Long Chen's expression was icy cold, not caring the slightest bit about that woman's pitiful begging. Seeing that image, those two twins immediately lit up and laughed. Ha ha ha, what a good thing. You brothers quickly make copies of this photographic jade and spread it so that all the righteous disciples can clearly see the face of the perverted traitor. At this time, there were already six or seven disciples who had also arrived, looking at Long Chen in astonishment. Bo Shitang threw that photographic jade to one of them. Long Chen recognized that disciple as a core disciple from the 36th monastery who had come to provoke them. He had been the first to battle, and as a result, he had almost pissed himself in terror as he fled. Receiving that photographic jade, he was delighted and rapidly took out more photographic jades, touching them to the photographic jade to duplicate them. That person made several copies in just a single breath and he was also crazily laughing at the thrill of vengeance. Obviously in his eyes, this photographic jade was even more satisfying than physically injuring Long Chen. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. Was this the will of the heavens? Why did these senseless idiots with nothing better to do always go find trouble for him? Long Chen. Ha ha ha. This time you're dead. The two twins were absolutely delighted. 
They weren't just delighted that Long Chen would now die in the secret realm, but more so because once everyone left the secret realm, these photographic jades would absolutely humiliate the 108th monastery. I don't know whether I'll die or not, but you two definitely will. I, Long Chen, will swear today that anyone who dares target me will have their blood spray. At this time, Long Chen was on the edge of going berserk. He was fed up with these senseless idiots harassing him. If this continued, then his cultivation would be continuously held up. Long Chen urgently needed to grow stronger to deal with that future crisis. These idiots were intentionally slowing him down. Long Chen took a single step, charging at the two of them. Devil Decapitator appeared in his hand, and Endless Saber Key filled the sky. One saber slashed out, startling all of heaven and earth. A terrifying will sort out. That saber not only contained Long Chen's energy, it also represented Long Chen's furious killing intent. Those two twins were horrified to realize Long Chen was even more terrifying than last time. This saber of his froze all of heaven and earth, locking them tightly in place. The two of them shouted out at the same time, and two brand new shields appeared in front of them. Those shields were covered in countless shining lines that emitted a powerful pressure. Boom. The two of them were horrified to find that their incomparably hard shields were far too weak in front of Long Chen's attack. Their two shields exploded like porcelain, while Long Chen's saber didn't slow down at all, directly slashing onto their bodies. New no. PFFT. Their screams were cut short. The power in Long Chen's saber had directly turned them to mincemeat, their blood filling the air. Suddenly, two Dao marks started to fly into the sky. However, they were cut down by Long Chen's saber. Long Chen's will actually destroyed them in one blow. Dao Marks? You really are blind. You went to go assist these two idiots? Were you trying to assist evil? Sighed Long Chen. There were over ten righteous experts who had rushed here at this time. They had all been scared stupid by Long Chen's terrifying saber blow. Although those two twins had been weaker individually amongst favored, the two of them were extremely good at working together. Within the super monastery, they were the only twin favored and so almost everyone recognized them. Now that they saw Long Chen kill them both in one blow, they were filled with horror. That disciple who had been crazily duplicating the photographic jade was so frightened that he instantly fled. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to chase him. He had already seen through the folly of these righteous disciples. He didn't have the energy to go play such senseless games with them. That would waste his valuable time. He had already vowed to himself. From today onwards, Anyone who dared block his way would only have one fate, to be killed by him. Long Chen, you dare kill righteous disciples like this. Are you not afraid of being punished? Raged one core disciple. Long Chen indifferently glanced at him, and that core disciple's body instantly tightened, feeling as if some harsh aura had locked him in place. He felt a sensation of death fill him, and he instantly forgot how to breathe. After glancing at him, Long Chen didn't say any more before walking deeper into the secret realm. Long Chen, you contemptible, shameless, perverted traitor. You mercilessly slaughtered disciples from the same sect and want to just leave. The commotion here had already drawn over many disciples, and a favored now shouted out. There were over 40 core disciples here, as well as seven favored, all looking at Long Chen in shock. Long Chen suddenly stopped and looked at everyone. This is my first and final warning. Don't provoke me. You're all no longer children. You're all grown-ups who have the ability and responsibility to distinguish right and wrong. If you don't bother caring about right and wrong and decide to raise your hand against me, I will not be merciful again. After saying that, Long Chen turned to leave. Impudent. Even a shameless perverted traitor dares say such arrogant words. What are you all waiting for? Kill this pervert traitor together to get rid of a calamity for the righteous path. This person unsheathed two swords and rushed at Long Chen. His sword stabbing at Long Chen's back. Die. Long Chen didn't even look back. Devil Decapitator swung out behind him. That person was a favored, but he had come later and hadn't seen Long Chen kill the twins. Furthermore, he was practically driven crazy with envy when he remembered the scene of Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu. Two absolutely peak beauties, intimately holding Long Chen's arms. How did a blood condensation brat end up being that arrogant? So he was immediately infuriated now that Long Chen stopped everyone with just a single warning. He assumed with him leading them there would be more justice warriors. Unfortunately, it seemed he hadn't noticed that not one of the people behind him had rushed forward with him. The instant Long Chen's saber swung out, heaven and earth were sealed tight, and a berserk, destructive will instantly descended. 
He immediately realized he had been looking to die Novaloon.com that kind of undefeatable will was something only Chosen could possess. Now he finally remembered the rumors that Long Chen had a Chosen's fighting strength. Crossed swords. That person was actually extremely powerful. Even while being enveloped by Long Chen's will, he was still able to steady his nerves. His sword swung out in an arc a huge cross appeared in front of him, heavily smashing into Long Chen's saber. But that person was horrified to see his powerful attack was completely shattered in front of Long Chen's devil decapitator. His saber didn't stop at all before reaching his chest. Blood and flesh exploded. That favored was killed just like that. A translucent Dao mark began to float up into the sky, wanting to flee. Devil Decapitator once more swung out, and that Dao mark instantly exploded, causing everyone's expressions to change. Long Chen was really too vicious. Not only did he kill people, but he also destroyed their incomparably precious Dao marks. If ordinary core disciples could obtain a Dao mark, they had a 10% chance of becoming a new favored. Long Chen naturally knew that. However, these idiots in front of him weren't worthy of him leaving that opportunity to them. Long Chen's saber had struck out without any mercy, shocking everyone. He killed a favored without batting an eye, not even looking at him. What kind of arrogance was that? Of course, not everyone here was an idiot. Although they had all seen that image from that photographic jade, they hadn't seen the whole video. They had been dubious about what had really happened. And now they personally saw just how powerful and proud Long Chen was. Would he really have such lewd intentions towards a woman, especially one who, in truth, was only ordinary looking? Long Chen had warned them, telling them to distinguish what was true or false on their own. Quite a few people were already able to tell there was probably some unknown scheme going on around Long Chen. However, in any case, the fact that Long Chen had repeatedly killed righteous disciples meant he wouldn't be able to flee, no matter what reasoning he had. Killing three favored was a crime he would never be able to wash away. After killing that favored, Long Chen, who hadn't turned back from start to finish, once more continued walking. Suddenly, a clapping sound rang out together with a voice that Long Chen was very familiar with. Not bad, not bad. Long Chen, you've once more gotten a bit stronger. It was worth it for me to spend so much of my valuable time to find you. Everyone was startled. At some point, a black-robed, gloomy man whose black hair fell to his shoulders, had appeared in the distance. That man seemed to have appeared out of nowhere, and no one had realized he had been there until now. Corrupt path. When they saw that blood-colored, bone-shaped marking on his robes, all their expressions changed. Their hearts involuntarily pounded and they all retreated a couple steps. Even Long Chen's pupil shrank when he saw who it was. His right hand tightened on Devil Decapitator. Yin Luo Chapter 315 Battling Yin Luo Translator Born to be that man was precisely Yun Luo. With his black robes billowing back, he looked like a devil who had climbed out of hell. The current Yun Luo appeared even more frightening than before. Long Chen, are you not going to say anything after seeing your old friend? Yun Luo smiled. But that smile was extremely icy, and his voice was like icicles stabbing their ears, causing people to feel a chill in their bones. Just by standing there, even though he was almost 300 meters away, those righteous disciples all felt fear and trepidation, each of them retreating further back. Even the favored were unable to stop themselves from retreating. They could sense a heaven-toppling hatred that was soaring out of him. Yin Luo, you're not bad. After only a couple months, your third leg has grown this long. Long Chen was also surprised by Yin Luo's appearance. Yin Luo's aura was nothing like it had been back then. It was much stronger but towards enemies whose hatred of him had sunk into their bones. Long Chen followed one rule. If he could anger them to death with one sentence, he definitely wouldn't use a second. Yin Luo those righteous disciples were all shocked, their eyes filled with terror. Yin Luo's name was something all the righteous disciples knew. Back then, they had heard that a top expert had appeared in one of the righteous and corrupt battles. The 108th monastery had asked for help from the first monastery, and the first monastery had sent a chosen. However, through some backdoor channels, it was leaked that this chosen had been alerted by a secret letter from the first monastery that had stopped him. It was said that the first monastery must have heard the rumor of an incredibly powerful disciple appearing in the corrupt path, a once-in-a-thousand-year genius. Such a figure was someone only an expert on the level of Han Shian Ayu could fight. However, back then, Han Shian Ayu had been in seclusion and couldn't go out fighting. That chosen had then made a random excuse. Arriving after the battle had ended. Of course, that was not accidental. 
but completely deliberate, that had been the first monastery's order. They all knew just how terrifying experts on the same level as Han Shian I were. The 108th monastery's life and death meant nothing to them, and they didn't want to lose a chosen. That was also why later, when Tu Fang had gone to make a complaint, the first monastery had spread out its hand and completely suppressed the matter. Unfortunately, there was nothing that was 100%. There were many curious people, and that was especially true of those bored people with nothing else to do. They had all managed to figure out what had happened behind the scenes. Apparently, someone named Mo Nian had appeared during that battle to block Yin Luo. However, later, when they had heard that Long Chen and Mo Nian had worked together to defeat Chiring him and even sever one of his legs, everyone had just laughed it off as a joke. The main thing was that what had happened in the battle had also been secretly suppressed by Ling Yunzi. He didn't want Long Chen to be too eye catching, as that could end up harming him. But after that battle, there was no one in the righteous path who didn't know Yin Luo's name. He was someone on the same level as Han Shian Iu, a top expert amongst chosen. Someone who had never met anyone in the same realm who could block more than 10 of his blows. This man in front of them was the corrupt path's top expert. Someone who could kill core disciples like killing chickens. How could they not be frightened? Even favored would be slaughtered in front of Yin Luo. They wanted to run, but they were also a bit unwilling. After all. They were the righteous path's experts, people with their own prestige and face. They couldn't run in terror. They told themselves they couldn't run. And yet, their feet didn't listen, and they were constantly retreating until they were a mile away. But hearing Long Chen's reply filled them with shock. Were the rumors true and Yun Luo's leg had been severed? Your mouth is still so dislikable. Are you trying to purposely infuriate me? Yun Luo stood there with his hands clasped behind his back, looking icily at Long Chen. Don't make yourself up to be some lofty god. A god wouldn't throw their pasty ass leg on the battlefield. Long Chen disdainfully looked back at him. He disliked these kinds of arrogant, show-off displays that didn't even have any content. He knew that he wasn't able to run anymore. The only thing to do was to fight all out. HMPH. Now that you don't have Mo Nian's help or that woman's secret art, I want to see just how many of my attacks you can block. Space buzzed, and an illusory figure appeared behind Yun Luo. It looked like a devil god was possessing his body, and the ground shook intensely. Although Yun Luo hated Long Chen, he didn't look down on him. The reason he had rushed over to this righteous path's entrance area the instant he had entered the Jiuli secret realm was to see if he could run into Long Chen, and apparently his luck was practically a defiance of the heavens. As soon as he had arrived in this area, he had sensed the fighting and immediately noticed Long Chen. Although Long Chen was still at the peak of blood condensation, he didn't dare look down on him in the slightest. If he wanted to kill Long Chen, he would have to do it as fast as possible. Otherwise, if they fought for too long, they would attract too many experts of the righteous path. Even if he was more conceited, he wouldn't arrogantly go fight the entire super monastery's elites. If he ended up drawing over Han Shian Iu, then although he wouldn't fear him in a one-on-one, -on -one, he would still definitely die if he were surrounded by a huge group of chosen. So his aura instantly leapt to its peak. Long Chen also didn't dare be careless. At the same time as Yun Luo released his aura, Long Chen also summoned his divine ring, and a star appeared within his eyes. Long Chen suddenly realized that summoning out the Feng Fu battle armor within the Jiuli secret realm was different from the outside world. Here, it was like heaven and earth were blessing him, and his strength increase was even greater than if he was in the outside world. The instant he summoned out the Feng Fu battle armor, a terrifying aura erupted out forming a pillar of light that soared to the sky, parting the clouds. Anyone within a thousand miles could see it. Heavens, how terrifying. Those righteous disciples who were a mile away looked at it in shock. All this, just from the two of them releasing their auras. Heaven and earth were already starting to warp. The ground beneath their feet was covered in cracks that instantly spread out for hundreds of miles. After being impacted by an immense pressure from the two of them, those disciples once more retreated. At the same time, more and more disciples were drawn over to the scene. The two of their auras were crazily climbing, giving off the sensation of two ancient monsters roaring at each other, trying to suppress the other. But Yun Luo was shocked to see that he, someone at the Grand Ninth of Vestige of Tendon Transformation, was unable to use his aura to suppress Long Chen. This particular aura was something that was essentially a person's key supplemented by their will. It formed a kind of spiritual pressure. It was the greatest technique to suppress people without even fighting. Long Chen's cultivation base was far, far weaker than Yun Luo's.
but his will was seemingly boundless, and it was almost like a sword that aimed to pierce through the dome of the sky, nothing being able to block it. Long Chen used his will to supplement his ki, managing to block Yun Luo's aura. However, he was only able to withstand Yun Luo. It was impossible for Long Chen to suppress him instead. Yun Luo's hatred of Long Chen had already reached the peak. Without killing Long Chen, he would be unable to wash away the humiliation of having his leg severed. He had been planning on crushing Long Chen in body and soul, wanting him to feel endless despair, to crush him like crushing an ant. In order to achieve this desire, in the past few months, Yin Luo had crazily increased his cultivation base, raising it to the ninth heaven stage of tendon transformation. But now he found that all his bitter work, his suffering day and night, the use of all kinds of poisons to strengthen his tendons, was still unable to allow him to suppress Long Chen who was only at blood condensation. His fury completely exploded. Die. Yin Luo suddenly took out a golden spear that looked the exact same as his old one. However, the runes covering it made its aura even more powerful than before. Other than having his leg severed, the thing that infuriated him the most was that even his weapon had been lost. His sect had had to specially request a forging master to work day and night to make this new spear in time for the Jiuli secret realm. This spear had cost a huge amount of precious resources. Just the spearhead had four high-ranking magical beast crystal cores embedded in it. All of them were used to increase its weight. This spear weighed 1,080,000 pounds. Once its runes were activated, drawing out the energy within those crystal cores, that spear's weight would further increase by 30%. Last time, Yin Luo had been at a disadvantage because of his weapon's weight. This time he wouldn't make the same mistake. His spear streaked through the air, screaming as it smashed at Long Chen. It was as if that spear could break apart the very world. Long Chen had never been this grave before. Yin Luo was now even stronger than last time. Stamping down on the ground, Devil Decapitator swung out in a profound arc during that arc. Long Chen's own strength was increasing, going past just his physical strength. This was an extremely profound circulation technique he had learned from the Violet Gale Saber. It allowed his own strength to stack up over and over but he also needed to carefully calculate where his saber would land. The instant his saber reached its target, that superimposed energy would reach its peak and burst out. Boom. Devil Decapitator slammed into Yun Luo's spear. The ground completely exploded, and a huge wave of earth instantly swept out for a hundred miles. Those distant, spectating disciples were instantly buried by that terrifying wave of earth. In fact, some of the weaker core disciples directly fainted from the impact. The instant Long Chen's Devil Decapitator collided with that spear, he was sent flying back, his saber leaving his hand. Long Chen felt as if his organs were flipping inside of him, and he tasted sweetness in his throat, almost vomiting blood. That one attack instantly caused a severe internal impact. Yin Luo was too strong. Now that he was even more powerful than before, Long Chen was unable to block a single one of his attacks, even with the Feng Fu battle armor's increased power. That made Long Chen feel a burst of helplessness. He had now been thrown far off. If he didn't break through soon, he would definitely die here. HMPH. Taste another one of my attacks. Yin Luo shouted, raising his spear again. This time, all the runes on his spear lit up, and it brought with it a terrifying pressure as it smashed down on Long Chen. Long Chen coldly snorted and formed a hand seal in front of him, his spiritual strength spreading out. Little Snow, come out and kill him. Chapter 316 Illusory Bone Road Translator Born to be space trembled intensely, and a huge figure appeared in front of Long Chen. As soon as that figure appeared, it opened its mouth and spat out a foot-long sphere at Yun Luo. That sphere released an ear-piercing sonic boom. If you were to carefully look at it, you would see that this sphere was composed of millions of tiny wind blades that were so small, they could barely be seen with the naked eye. Those countless wind blades were surrounding the center of that sphere. At the center was a lava-like liquid that was quickly revolving. Of course, that figure was Little Snow. Long Chen had long since told Little Snow to be ready. Little Snow had already stored up enough energy, and as soon as he appeared, he released a powerful attack. That sphere was one of Little Snow's inherited techniques. It was his most powerful attack. This was the first time Little Snow had let out a full-strength attack since advancing to the fourth rank. Yin Luo hadn't expected Long Chen to have such a move and being caught off guard, his spear hadn't managed to block it, it was now about to hit him in the chest, illusory bone robe, a phantom-like figure instantly wrapped around Yun Luo, and it looked as if he had been wrapped in densely packed bones, boom, 
Little Snow's attack exploded when it collided into Yun Luo's body. In that instant, millions of wind blades surged out in all directions. Crap. Long Chen was shocked that Little Snow's attack was so terrifying. Those wind blades didn't differentiate between enemies or himself. If he was struck, wouldn't he be turned to mincemeat? Just as Long Chen was preparing to circulate his energy to defend himself, Long Chen's vision darkened. Little Snow. He suddenly realized that Little Snow had put him inside his own mouth. Bang. Long Chen suddenly felt his entire body shake, and Little Snow seemed to be tumbling through the air. Long Chen tightly held on to one of Little Snow's teeth. After several breaths, Little Snow opened his mouth, allowing Long Chen to see what was going on again. Little Snow. Long Chen jumped out and the first thing he saw was Little Snow covered in blood, many cuts having opened up on his body. Obviously even Little Snow himself was unable to block his own terrifying attack. Little Snow was more of a long-distance fighter, and his own defensive strength was unable to compare to his attack strength. Good move. Really. Really a good move. A voice rang out from between clenched teeth. Long Chen turned to look in the direction of the voice with shock. At this time, the sky full of dust had finally faded. An area of several miles had been turned to powder by Little Snow's attack. In the distance was a man covered in blood, sinisterly staring at Long Chen. That person was Yun Luo. Yun Luo's clothes had been cut to pieces by those terrifying wind blades, and there were countless cuts all over his body. There was not one inch of his skin that was whole. His handsome face was covered in wounds, and his lips had been ferociously torn open. When he opened his mouth, you could see all his teeth. A terrifying image. Yin Luo was both startled and infuriated. Even in his dreams, he had never imagined that Long Chen was a beast tamer capable of controlling a fourth-ranked magical beast with only a blood condensation cultivation base. Beast tamers had powerful spiritual strengths. They were able to open a spiritual space and place spiritual marks on magical beasts to make them their slaves. The terror of beast tamers did not need to be doubted. But no matter how powerful a beast tamer was, they all had one fatal weak point. That was that other than their powerful spiritual strength, they had essentially zero attacking power. Their physical bodies were all extremely weak. That had been a fact that had never been contested for eternity. Back during the righteous and corrupt battle. Yin Luo had been sneak attacked by Little Snow, but at that time, he had never suspected that Little Snow was connected to Long Chen. Long Chen's body was abnormally powerful. How could such a person possibly be a physically weak beast tamer? None of Long Chen's trump cards had ever startled Yin Luo. Only this beast tamer status of his was out of his expectations. If he hadn't cultivated the illusory bone robe, a secret technique of the corrupt path, in the past few months, he would already be dead. He had previously tested the power of his illusory bone robe. Even a full force attack from an eight temper bone forging expert was unable to do anything to it. But that incredibly firm illusory bone robe was only able to block less than half of Little Snow's attack before exploding. Originally, he had been planning on crushing Long Chen like he was a bug. But now he had almost died to him. How could he not be infuriated? Die. Yin Luo roared. And a black rune lit up on his forehead. His injuries were actually quickly healing at a rate visible to the naked eye. His spear once more smashed down at Long Chen. Long Chen hastily went to block. He was horrified to realize that Yun Luo had now used some sort of secret technique to temporarily suppress his injuries. His strength hadn't dropped in the slightest. That spear of his contained a mountain crushing strength. Long Chen was unable to block it and was sent flying back, crashing into Little Snow's body. Then Little Snow was also picked up and sent flying by that terrifying strength. Long Chen vomited blood. Now the difference between him and Yun Luo was too wide. Even with the Feng Fu battle armor and divine ring, he was unable to block his berserk power, and his internal organs were all heavily injured. Little Snow also wasn't much better off. That explosion of wind blades had covered him in wounds due to being too close. Some of his injuries went down to the bone. If the cuts on his abdomen were any wider, it would be possible to see his insides. Defense was Little Snow's weak point. The main thing was that Long Chen had underestimated Little Snow's attack strength, which had caused this mishap. Little Snow, let's run. Long Chen suddenly jumped on Little Snow's back, using his spiritual strength to communicate with him. They were currently unable to defa Yun Luo. If this continued, they would definitely be the ones to die. Although there were tens of righteous disciples watching to the side, Long Chen didn't hope for them to come help. The fact they also hadn't moved to attack him was already enough for him to count his blessings. Watching the situation and finding an opportunity to run was the way of the king. 
Although the will in his soul didn't want him to run, Long Chen wouldn't let himself be controlled like that. He was Long Chen, not a pill god. He didn't care about face. He cared about living. If they did fight it out until the end, the result would definitely end in their deaths. Little Snow shot out like a bolt of lightning, fleeing five miles in an instant. You want to run? It's not that easy. Yin Luo snorted and with a single step, he suddenly appeared close behind them. His speed was absolutely alarming. Long Chen had thought that with Little Snow's speed, they would be able to quickly throw off Yun Luo. He had never imagined Yun Luo could use some sort of footwork to raise his speed to this level. He was not at all inferior to Little Snow. If Little Snow was still in his peak condition, he would be quite a bit faster than Yun Luo. But right now, Little Snow was covered in injuries. That greatly impacted his speed. As for Yun Luo, he was using some sort of secret technique to suppress his injuries. He was quickly catching up. Long Chen felt a chill. If Yun Luo caught up, then they really might be doomed. With a wave of his hand, a blue ball of flames appeared in his hand. That flame quickly grew larger as Long Chen poured in more of his flame energy. When that ball was finally a foot long, its terrifying temperature caused space to warp. The vegetation he passed by was instantly turned to ashes. Pill blaze swallowing mountains. That ball of flames now contained all of Long Chen's pill flame energy. It flew back at Yun Luo who was close behind. The ground it passed by instantly turning black. An ant's little technique. Yun Luo snorted and summoned out that illusory bone robe. He also smashed his spear at that ball of flames. Boom. The flames instantly exploded. And a terrifying wave of heat shot out. Broiling all the land for a mile. Even the air seemed to ignite. That terrifying blaze enveloped Yun Luo. But Yun Luo's illusory bone robe still kept it blocked on the outside. It was unable to cause him any injuries. That flame might be powerful. Most likely posing a fatal threat to core disciples. But to favored. It couldn't count as much. Let alone Yun Luo. A chosen amongst chosen. However. Yun Luo knew Long Chen was extremely crafty and didn't dare be careless. So he had ended up wasting some spiritual ki rather than allowing that flame to reach his body. But then realizing that flame was just an ordinary beast flame and posed no threat to him. Yun Luo couldn't help snorting. Before the flames even scattered, he charged out through the front. In his eyes, this was just Long Chen's deathbed struggle. He was just stalling the inevitable. But as soon as he charged out of those flames, his eyes immediately popped open. A 30-meter-long lightning spear had suddenly appeared in front of him. A destructive will came from it that caused Yun Luo to feel a chill. Now he realized why Long Chen would use such a beast flame to attack him. That useless attack of his had been a setup for this real attack. Everything had occurred too quickly. He had only just charged out of the flames when that lightning spear reached him. He had no time to dodge. So he could only rely on his own spear to block. Bang. That lightning spear smashed heavily into Yun Luo's spear. At that instant, it completely exploded. And its berserk thunder force went to devour Yun Luo. A-H-H. Yun Luo let out a miserable scream. He could block outer energy. But he was unable to block thunder force. After all. Long Chen's Thunder Force came from heaven and earth, and it was extremely berserk. Yun Luo had originally used a secret technique to suppress his injuries. The instant that berserk energy swept over him, he was unable to suppress it anymore. Those old injuries all opened, his blood splattering. Long Chen, get over here and die. Yun Luo had gone completely crazy. Long Chen's lightning spear had been too powerful. If it had been at an ordinary time, it wouldn't have posed any real threat to him. But at this instant, it caused him to be unable to hold back his injuries. If he couldn't kill Long Chen in a short time now, he wouldn't have the energy to chase him, and his attempt to kill him this time would have failed. Forcibly enduring the intense pain racking his body, Yun Luo roared angrily, and all his energy exploded out. His speed was pushed to its peak as he rushed at Long Chen. Long Chen couldn't help being shocked over and over again. Yun Luo really was too terrifying. Now that Yun Luo was just a moment away, he could only face him head on. He took out Devil Decapitator, prepared to undergo a final fight. Suddenly, a huge arrow shot straight at Yun Luo. Chapter 317 Void Breaker Crossbows Power Translator Born to be suddenly, a huge arrow shot straight at Yun Luo. That arrow was three meters long, looking like a spear. There were many grooves on it, and as it flew, there was practically no sound. It was a ghostly arrow. Crap, by the time Yun Luo sensed it, that huge arrow had almost reached his abdomen. PFFT. That huge arrow shot straight through Yun Luo's shoulder. The power behind it directly broke Yun Luo's spiritual key protection and pulverized his shoulder. 
Long Chen was delighted and looked into the distance to see Guo Ran holding a crossbow on a mountain ten miles away. During the previous months, Guo Ran had consumed all the medicinal pills Long Chen had specially refined for him. His cultivation base had already reached the sixth heaven stage of tendon transformation. Furthermore, Long Chen had given him medicinal pills that had strengthened his physical body. Now he was able to use his crossbow without feeling any pressure. Back when Long Chen and Yun Luo had started fighting, Guo Ran had immediately recognized that familiar aura and rushed over. He had arrived just in time to see Long Chen being chased by Yun Luo. He had hastily taken out his crossbow, and after calculating Yun Luo's speed into the equation, he had shot out his practically divine arrow. Although Guo Ran didn't possess a powerful martial strength himself, his crossbow was something he had personally made, and now he was able to control it down to the slightest detail. That allowed him to break Yun Luo's shoulder, and that was only because Yun Luo was so powerful. If it had been a random favored, they would definitely have been killed by Guo Ran's arrow. Guo Ran couldn't help but feel regretful that he hadn't killed Yun Luo with his arrow. If he could have used a single arrow to kill a once in a thousand year genius, his name would definitely have spread like wildfire. Nice. Long Chen gave Guo Ran a thumbs up. Guo Ran's arrow really had been perfect. His angle and timing had all been perfect, and it had been impossible to defend against it. Any chosen might have died to that kind of attack. That was because even Long Chen hadn't noticed the arrow until it had arrived. Yin Luo's shoulder was badly mangled, and even his bones were visible. The void-breaking crossbow and its arrows were extremely terrifying, causing Yun Luo to sweat in fright. If his reaction had been slightly slower, his abdomen would have been pierced straight through. Although he wouldn't die from that, he would have instantly lost all of his combat ability. He would only have been able to flee miserably. A faint sound like that of a housefly's buzzing rang out as another huge arrow shot at Yun Luo. This arrow shot out like lightning but the sound of it flying was incredibly minute. Even Yun Luo was shocked. However, this time he was prepared. No matter how fast this arrow was, it was unable to threaten him. His spear swung and destroyed the arrow. He icily glanced at Guo Ran for a moment before ignoring him to continue chasing after Long Chen. Long Chen was already several miles away. In his eyes, killing Long Chen was more important than anything else. Yun Luo was extremely fast. Despite being covered in blood and that heavy injury to his shoulder, his speed was still slightly greater than the injured little snow. He quickly caught up to them. Guo Ran once more shot out an arrow, but it was still broken by Yun Luo's spear. Guo Ran knew that his void-breaking arrows were only powerful in terms of sneak attacks. Once someone was on guard, it no longer posed any threat. That was especially true against a powerful chosen like Yun Luo. His arrows were unable to even slow him down now. Yun Luo, you idiot. You dare charge into our righteous path's territory. Are you challenging the entire righteous path? Seeing Yun Luo ignore him to chase after Long Chen, as well as how little snow was covered in blood and Long Chen's grave expression, Guo Ran knew this wasn't a good situation. He shouted out as loudly as he could in order to draw over the experts in the vicinity. It would be best if he could draw over Han Shai and Ayu, as then, Yun Luo would be done for. Yun Luo's expression sunk. Currently, he was just a hundred meters away. Taking a deep breath, the illusory figure behind him disappeared, and a terrifying energy filled heaven and earth. Crap, this bastard's once more using natural energy. Long Chen was startled. This feeling was far too familiar. That was a power only Xi'anxian experts were capable of using. Last time, when Yun Luo had used this kind of power, he had almost obliterated Long Chen and Mo Nian. As soon as Long Chen saw this posture, he immediately ordered Little Snow to get as far away as possible while he himself jumped off. In midair, he pointed Devil Decapitator up at the sky. His divine ring appeared once more. A star floated in his eyes, and all his power poured into his saber. Split the heavens. Long Chen's saber struck down while Yun Luo was still accumulating energy. If Yun Luo managed to complete that preparation, then he and Little Snow would definitely die. And so Long Chen had instantly decided to interrupt him while he still could, releasing his strongest attack. Yun Luo's expression changed when he saw Long Chen attack him the instant he began to accumulate energy. Long Chen really was too crafty. He clenched his teeth furiously, but he had no choice but to activate his attack before it was complete. However, this was already enough. Boom. The two weapons collided, and it was as if heaven and earth were being torn apart. Even a hundred miles away, it was possible to feel the earth trembling intensely. Long Chen flew back like a shooting star. 
flying straight across the ground for miles while vomiting blood that even contained some of his broken organs. Long Chen hastily swallowed a healing pill. He quickly rushed back to Little Snow, who had been waiting for him, and Little Snow quickly began to flee away with him. Tightly holding Little Snow's fur, Long Chen felt as if all his bones were about to collapse, and he once more vomited blood. The attack Yun Luo had used just now was actually ten times stronger than the one he had used last time in the righteous and corrupt battle. If Long Chen hadn't interrupted him before it had reached its peak, causing it to contain less than half its power, he would definitely have died. This meant Yun Luo's control over his Xi'anchen essence blood had greatly improved. That kind of power was far too terrifying. Long Chen felt as if all his organs had been broken to pieces. That healing pill he had swallowed was actually unable to suppress his terrifying injuries. Clenching his teeth, he took out a drop of that vivid green liquid and swallowed it. Only then did his broken organs begin to heal. I get it now. That bastard's attack contained natural energy, which brought with it a trace of the will of the heavens. Ordinary medicinal pills do not have much effect on such wounds. An attack containing natural energy was just too terrifying. It was no wonder everyone under Xi'anchen was said to be ants in comparison. Yin Luo had only managed to control a trace of his Xi'anchen essence blood to control that slight amount of natural energy. At this time, Long Chen was filled with gratitude towards that spirit world expert. The gift she had given him really was too precious. It had now saved his life as well as the lives of the people around him several times. However, after all this time, he was down to his final drop of her divine life liquid. He would definitely have to properly preserve this last drop. It was something that could save his life. The sky full of dust finally dissipated, revealing Yun Luo's pale face. His entire body was now covered in blood. Long Chen's last attack had caused him to receive a heavy backlash. That backlash further worsened his countless injuries. But it was like Yun Luo didn't sense any pain. He tightly glared in the direction Long Chen had fled. You were lucky this time. Next time. I'll definitely tear you apart piece by piece. Bang. Yin Luo's spear once more swung out, destroying a silent arrow. He stared icily in the direction of a certain mountain and made a throat-cutting gesture before quickly leaving. He was now covered in wounds, and had lost too much blood and ki. He currently didn't even possess 30% of his regular strength. Furthermore, he could sense seven or eight powerful auras quickly approaching. During normal times, he naturally wouldn't be afraid of them. But now he could only run. Only a couple breaths after Yun Luo had left, over ten figures appeared in this place, looking at the huge crater that had been left in the ground. What a powerful pressure, and what powerful will. There were definitely chosen fighting here, gravely said someone who was also a chosen. This place was a complete mess. The leftover will here was enough to make him feel a heavy pressure. Even after the fight has ended, the leftover will is still so powerful. They were definitely top experts. Could it be that Han Shian Iu fought here? Just now I heard someone shout Yun Luo. Could it be that he really came here? Yun Luo fought with Han Shian Iu. Impossible. Han Shian Iu has already entered deep into the Jiuli secret realm in search of good opportunities. Why would he waste his precious time here on the edges? One of them had personally seen Han Shian Iu rushing deeper into the Jiuli secret realm. So he knew it was impossible for him to be here. Then who was it? How curious. More and more people were appearing now, and they were all looking at that crater with shock. The distant Guo Ran disdainfully looked at those people and shook his head. Boss really was right. The Righteous Path's disciples, no matter what level their cultivation base, are really a bunch of good-for-nothings. I've already shouted that Yun Luo has appeared here, and all of you who appeared earlier clearly saw Yun Luo's figure as he fled. You just don't dare chase him. Now you act like you're guessing who fought. Is your skin made of leather? I don't believe none of you doesn't know just who Yun Luo is. A group of terrified cowards. Guo Ran viciously spat on the ground, putting away his Void Breaker crossbow. Since his boss had fled, he felt relieved and decided to think of a way to find his own opportunities. Little Snow crazily fled for a thousand miles before finally being unable to continue and collapsing on the ground. Long Chen hastily took out a heap of healing pills and fed them to Little Snow. Little Snow had lost too much blood and would definitely need to rest for a while. Don't worry, the crisis has already passed. Just rest in the spiritual space and heal your wounds. Long Chen placed Little Snow inside a spiritual space. It wasn't just Little Snow who needed to recuperate. Long Chen also needed to rest. His injuries were quickly recovering, but after that intense fight, especially after using Split the Heavens, 
All his spiritual ki had been used up. He had only just taken a couple steps when he felt a wave of exhaustion batter him. This was no good. He had no time to find a suitable place to rest. He prepared himself to just rest right here. Die. Just then, a harsh shout rang out and Long Chen's heart tightened. A sharp aura locked down on him. Chapter 318 A Weakened Tiger Can Die to a Dog Translator Born to be Long Chen was too exhausted and his spiritual perception had fallen greatly. His reaction was slow. While that person was clearly an expert, he only noticed him when his attack was about to reach him. That merciless attack was aimed straight for his heart from behind. This person was clearly trying to kill him in one attack. Long Chen reacted instinctively, pushing off from the ground. He sprang forward like he was shot out from a spring, instantly opening up a distance of 30 meters. He felt a burst of pain from his back. A large hole had been opened up there. That attack had just been the slightest bit off from piercing his heart. Only now did Long Chen have a chance to look back and see a blue-robed man looking at Long Chen with surprise. He was obviously surprised by Long Chen's reflexes. His stealth skills were extremely high, and he was specialized in assassinations. But Long Chen had escaped. Someone from the 27th Monastery? Who are you? Long Chen's killing intent sword. He didn't even know this bastard. They had no enmity, and they were also members from the same sect. But he had shamelessly launched a sneak attack on him. His vicious attack had clearly been aiming to kill him. The person who will kill you. Seeing that his first attack hadn't killed him, that man's sword shook and countless sword images filled the sky. At the same time, his aura completely erupted out. He was surprisingly a powerful favored. Long Chen snorted and raised Devil Decapitator. He swung out at a slanted angle that coincided with an opening. That favored was surprised by how sharp Long Chen's attack was. He had just seen that Long Chen was completely exhausted. He had clearly been like an arrow at the end of its flight. Boom. That favored sword was sent flying the instant it collided with Long Chen's devil decapitator. Long Chen was startled. He really was exhausted, with less than a tenth of his normal physical strength, and his spiritual key completely exhausted. Otherwise he could kill such a person with a single blow. That favored couldn't help being shocked by how terrifying Long Chen's strength was. He was just about to turn to flee when he paused to icily say to Long Chen, Little brat, today you'll definitely die. After that one exchange, Long Chen felt as if heaven and earth were spinning around him. The divine drop of life that spirit world expert had left for him was only able to heal his injuries. It was unable to replenish his exhausted spiritual ki. Now his spiritual ki was exhausted, and his physical strength was also overdrafted. He felt as if he might collapse at any moment. However, Long Chen didn't display any of his weakness. He was completely spent, but if he let his opponent see that, the consequences would be too horrible to imagine. Oh really? How come I don't believe you? Long Chen stuck his saber into the ground. Seeing Long Chen only talked without doing anything, that favored became even more confident. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, there's no need to force yourself. Your spiritual key fluctuations are incredibly weak. Do you think I'm an idiot who can't see that you're already at the point of death? I'll have a battle of attrition with you right now. Let me see just how long you can last. Once you can't continue anymore, I'll cut your head off. Long Chen took a deep breath. I don't have any enmity with you. Why do you want to kill me? You don't need to worry too much about that. In short, you must die. The man shook his head. He then once more retreated a couple steps, staying on guard against Long Chen. Obviously he was afraid of Long Chen giving him one final counterattack before death. Long Chen was quickly thinking. According to reason, running into this person was just a coincidence. He shouldn't know what had happened before. In other words, this person wanting to kill him had nothing to do with that photographic jade. Then thinking of those three people before that had set him up, Long Chen thought of a certain possibility. If you want to kill me, it won't be as easy as you think. Don't throw your life away in hopes of obtaining some benefits. That would really be stupid, sneered Long Chen. Ha ha ha, a man will risk death for riches. Sometimes only high risks will bring high rewards, replied the favored. Following that man's reply, Long Chen was now sure that those three people's schemes and this person's sneak attack were not coincidence, but premeditated. Even if that woman hadn't gone to frame him, there would have been many more ploys waiting for him. This plot had been set up before they had entered the secret realm. Once he thought of that, Long Chen's mind immediately became clear. Even an idiot would have realized there was someone controlling this behind the scenes. Amongst the monasteries, the one who hated him the most would have to be Luo Bing. But her rotten temperament was known to all, 
and she didn't have the ability to control this many disciples. That woman and the two core disciples, as well as the favored he had killed, were all from higher ranking monasteries. Then adding in this favored from the 27th monastery, and assuming this wasn't all just a coincidence, the person behind the scenes would have to be someone from the top monasteries. As for why they hadn't sent disciples from the lower ranking monasteries against him, it wasn't that they couldn't control them, but that they looked down on them. If all his reasoning was correct, then there was only one existence that could have such influence and had enmity with the 108th monastery. Haha, <laughs> good. There are so many enemies that you do nothing to, instead deciding to scheme against me. When he reached that point in his thoughts, Long Chen clenched his teeth and killing intent exploded out of him. If I don't teach you a lesson this time, it seems you'll never learn. Long Chen, right now you're on your last legs. Stalling for time has no meaning. I'll give you a chance to kill yourself. That way you'll at least be able to have an intact corpse. Otherwise, if you wait to die by my hands, he, the favored laughed coldly, his threat obvious. Long Chen laughed, his smile incredibly icy. Since it was like that, there was no need for more words. It was time to kill. Taking a deep breath, he circulated the last strand of spiritual key within him and charged at the favored. The favored had just been thinking of how to provoke Long Chen into fighting when Long Chen suddenly appeared right in front of him. He stabbed out his sword in panic, aiming for Long Chen's chest. This kind of attack was extremely simple and effective. Normal people would all go to dodge, which would give him an opportunity to flee. Unfortunately, he had never met Long Chen before. Long Chen didn't glance at his sword. At this time, that divine life drops energy had yet to fade from his body. Even if his heart was pierced, he wouldn't die. It would quickly heal. All it would do was hurt a bit. As for Devil Decapitator, it was slashing down on the favored, flabbergasting him. This was clearly a suicidal attack. He naturally didn't wish to die with Long Chen. It was already too late to dodge. So all he could do was take back his sword to block. However, he had made a fatal mistake. He had been unable to block Long Chen even when they had exchanged blows on equal grounds. How could his panicked, last minute block do anything? There was no suspense. Devil Decapitator sent his sword flying without slowing down, cutting his body in two. No, no, I don't want to die. The favored supper body was crawling away, filled with terror. When you killed others, did you ever care about their begging? His saber slashed out, and a head flew into the air. At the same time, a Deo mark started to soar into the sky. Break. Long Chen's saber once more swung out. Although it was just an ordinary blow, it contained Long Chen's furious will. Even such an idiot was worthy of the heaven's blessing? Since this Deo mark was so blind, it could disappear forever. Under Long Chen's saber, that Deo mark was broken to pieces, fading away forever. Ha ha ha. Long Chen, it looks like enemies really are fated to clash. I actually ran into you here. Another excited voice, which also contained endless resentment, rang out. Long Chen hastily looked over, his pupil shrinking. That man was looking at Long Chen with rancor. He was precisely the top expert of the 36th monastery, Jiang Yifen. Back in the 108th monastery, he had used his strongest techniques, but was still almost crippled by Long Chen. Later, with the first monastery's assistance, Jiang Yifen had not only recovered from his injuries, but the first monastery had also gifted him a precious medicinal pill that had allowed him to enter the late tendon transformation realm. After recovering, Jiang Yifen had not forgotten the humiliation Long Chen had given him for one moment. He wished to flay Long Chen's skin and tear out his muscles. That was because ever since then, those disciples, who had looked at him respectfully before, now looked at him with odd expressions, making him furious enough to kill. Originally, Jiang Yifen had been thinking of finding Long Chen for another challenge. Since his strength had advanced, he had been hoping to wash away that humiliation. He had actually been searching for Long Chen in this region for a while now. After not finding him after so long, he had thought Long Chen had already gone deeper into the secret realm and so he had already given up. He was delighted to suddenly run into him now. In fact, that delight practically made him go crazy. Long Chen, die. Jiang Yifen rushed over to Long Chen and roared, punching out. Long Chen took a deep breath. He wanted to circulate a spiritual key, but he realized his Feng Fu star didn't contain even a single strand of spiritual key anymore. Seeing that fist smashing into him, he could only raise Devil Decapitator, using his physical strength to block. Bang! The webbing of his hand split apart. With blood pouring out, he was sent viciously flying through the air. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen. 
What happened to your arrogance? Why aren't you continuing being arrogant? How did you end up becoming a dead dog now? Just die already. Sending Long Chen flying with a fist. Jiang Yifan was incredibly excited. He quickly caught up to him and punched out again. Long Chen had only just crawled up from the ground and vomited a mouthful of blood. He felt the world darkening around him, his eyelids becoming too heavy to keep open. He knew that after these repeated battles, he had finally reached his limit. He was about to faint, but he couldn't faint, or he would never wake up again. His vision had already turned black, but he still used his sense of touch to raise Devil Decapitator. Bang! Long Chen felt both his arms break, and he once more flew back. Darkness swamped over him, and he could no longer continue. Am I really going to die like this? How stupid. Just as Long Chen was descending into total darkness, he just barely felt as if he was being embraced by someone, and he also seemed to hear the unpleasant sound of Jiang Yifan cursing. Chapter 319 A Beauty Capable of Stealing One's Soul Translator Born to be within that endless darkness, he heard a voice sighing. Time is running out. That voice seemed to come from incredibly far away. It contained a trace of regret, as well as a trace of helplessness. Long Chen could clearly hear that voice. He wanted to open his eyes to see where it was coming from, but it felt as if his eyelids weighed a thousand pounds, and no matter how he struggled, he was unable to open them. Who are you? That voice didn't reply to him. The day the ties between worlds finally breaks will be the day all ten worlds living creatures will be destroyed. Are you still unable to gather your resolve? Long Chen angrily roared. Who are you? I don't understand anything about what you're saying. That voice sighed. I can't hear anything you say. We are not in the same space time. Please grow up faster, as we need you. Heir of the Nine Star Hegemon Body, quickly awaken. Otherwise, it really will be too late. Long Chen felt as if he was exploding from some kind of pressure. He angrily roared. Explain what you're talking about. But his roar faded within the endless darkness. He suddenly opened his eyes, seeing a maiden in front of him. That maiden was tall and slender, and with a veil covering her face, she appeared extremely elegant. Just her two limpid eyes were beautiful enough to steal a person's soul. It was impossible to see her face, but looking at her, Long Chen almost forgot to breathe. Just those two eyes were so beautiful that they were impossible to resist. In fact, Long Chen felt a desire to give her his everything. As soon as he felt that desire, he was given a fright. This woman's beauty was extremely odd. It seemed it was impossible to resist, but Long Chen could confirm she wasn't using any secret techniques. This was entirely just from her innate eyes. You're awake. Her voice sounded like the singing of birds. Melodious and pleasant. Containing a sweetness that caused one's entire body to relax. Long Chen's heart involuntarily pounded. This woman's body seemed to possess some special magical power. To people. No. It should be to men. She possessed an allure that could not be resisted. Just from opening her mouth. Long Chen felt as if all his blood was beginning to circulate quicker and his breathing became a bit rough. Hmm? As soon as you gain back your life, you start to have lustful thoughts. That woman seemed to be able to see through Long Chen's inner heart with just a glance. It was as if in front of her eyes, Long Chen's everything was laid bare. Long Chen's heart skipped a bit. This woman really was terrifying. His intuition told him she was extremely extraordinary. Were you the one who saved me? Long Chen did his best to retain the feeling of being terrorized. As if he didn't, it would be a different emotion that popped up. What do you think? That woman's eyes crinkled slightly, which should be from a smile. For some unknown reason, when Long Chen saw those crinkled eyes, Long Chen couldn't help having his heart skip several beats. This was really too terrifying. How could such a terrifying woman appear within this world? With just a random action, she could draw away your complete attention. In all of Long Chen's memories, the only person who possessed such an alluring beauty was Men Qi. But Men Qi's beauty was like that of a grand immortal. With each one of her movements, she made a person feel as if they had entered a fairyland, making it so others were filled with worship. On the other hand, this woman, whose face was mostly veiled, seemed more like a beautiful, seductive demon. Despite knowing it was dangerous, he still wanted to touch her beauty. It was as if seeing her complete beauty would be worth losing his life. Long Chen had to use his full willpower to calm himself down. He silently activated the nine-star hegemon body art. Only then did he relax slightly. If you were the one who saved my life, then I, Long Chen, will remember this favor. Long Chen cupped his hands at her. This woman clearly hadn't expected Long Chen to be able to keep himself calm like this. That surprise appeared in her eyes for a moment before it was quickly concealed. 
You're called Long Chen? This name's not bad. And your looks are also not bad. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten involved to save you, said the woman. Long Chen immediately felt awkward. He had been saved because of his face? Well, in any case, at least he was alive. You say you owe me a favor? Yes, said Long Chen solemnly. How big of a favor? That woman seemed to be teasing him. Being looked at by that woman, Long Chen used his previous experience and didn't dare look at her eyes again. And yet, not looking at her was also too rude. As a result, his gaze shifted, and he saw something he really shouldn't have looked at. Big. Really. Really big. That dazzling sight choked Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen suddenly stop talking and just look foolishly at her chest, a slight anger appeared in her eyes. Have you seen enough? Long Chen was startled, only not reacting. His face was now so red it had almost turned violet, and he wished he could find a hole to bury himself in. After all these years, Long Chen had received much humiliation, but this was the first time he had run into such an awkward situation. In truth, a hint of killing intent had appeared in that woman's eyes just now when she had noticed Long Chen just staring foolishly at her chest, but now seeing Long Chen had turned so red that it looked like blood might drip out of his face, she actually found it slightly funny. This meant Long Chen really wasn't a pervert. Most of her anger faded away. Seeing that Long Chen had his head lowered away from her and wasn't saying anything, she said, The reason I saved you is actually because I feel like you'll be an extraordinary figure in the future. You also don't need to thank me too much. However, I will remember what you just said. You owe me a favor. At this time, Long Chen felt something was a bit wrong and hastily said, I owe you a huge favor. I'll definitely help you out with whatever you need. However, let me just say, you can't harm any of my friends. He, don't worry, I'm not a bad person. I have no interest in hurting your friends. She laughed. Her eyes were like bright crescent moons, and Long Chen's heart pounded out of his control. Just what kind of bewitching demon was she? If she revealed her whole face, wouldn't his soul be directly snatched away? Furthermore, the other reason I saved you is because I feel that for someone like you to die to someone like him was really not worth it. Did you kill him? asked Long Chen. I don't dare kill such a person. I'd be afraid of him staining my hands. Long Chen nodded. That was best. That bastard had taken advantage of when he was weak to try to kill him. Long Chen was furious enough to explode. The thing that infuriated him the most was how Jiang Yifan had acted so arrogantly. Just thinking about it made him grind his teeth in anger. It was like he thought he was pridefully defeating him in his peak state. If Jiang Yifan really was killed by this woman, then Long Chen would definitely feel regret. Such a damnable person had to be played to death, not beaten to death. Okay, you've awoken, so I'll be leaving. But remember, you owe me a favor. If I need you in the future, you better not renege on your debt. Otherwise, sister will be deeply hurt. The woman laughed lightly. Don't worry, in all my life, I, Long Chen, have never uttered any empty talk, said Long Chen solemnly. Since this person had saved his life, no matter what her goal had been in saving him, he definitely owed her a huge debt. As long as it wasn't something that would hurt the people close to him, Long Chen swore no matter how dangerous it was, he would do whatever she told him. That was how a man should act. He, I've heard those that are handsome are also trustworthy. Then sister will leave now. That woman smiled slightly and waved her hand. Taking a single step, she suddenly disappeared from in front of Long Chen. When he saw her again, she was already several miles away. In just a couple blinks, she disappeared. What a fast movement technique. Long Chen was startled. That woman's movement technique seemed slightly similar to the footwork Mo Nian had used back then. That kind of speed was completely abnormal. At least I have the netherworld ghost steps. Once I train in it, I won't be any inferior to them. Long Chen still had the secret technique he had tricked from that corrupt paths expert. However, his cultivation base was still too low to use it. As soon as he tried, he would feel a sharp pain from his meridians like they were about to explode. Right now, he couldn't cultivate. He had to first rest and adjust himself. His wounds were still healing at this time, so it seemed he hadn't been unconscious for long. Opening up the map and looking around, he couldn't help being startled. That woman had brought him a distance of several tens of thousands of miles away. However, she hadn't brought him deeper into the secret realm but to a very remote area on its edge. There were no good opportunities here, so no one would come here. This is a pretty good place. Long Chen could sense his cultivation base rapidly rising. He would quickly be able to break out of his shackles to reach tendon transformation. Even if Long Chen didn't deliberately cultivate, 
just the special primordial air here was enough to make his cultivation base continuously rise. No, I have to completely recover before making my breakthrough. Otherwise, I really will end up dead. Long Chen remembered that first terrifying heavenly punishment. If he wasn't in his peak state before it happened, he would be doomed. He checked inside a spiritual space and saw that Little Snow was slowly absorbing the medicinal pills Long Chen had given him. Little Snow had lost too much essence blood and would need a certain amount of time before recovering. After that battle, Long Chen had seen through Little Snow's shortcomings. His defense was too low, but his attack power and range was definitely extremely suited to group battles. He might be at a disadvantage in a one against one, so it would be best for the two of them to work on some cooperative strategies. Long Chen consumed a key recovery pill that allowed his aura to quickly rise. Three days later, he opened his eyes. He stood up and stretched, his bones emitting some cracking noises. Now he had finally recovered to his peak. It went without saying that the nine-star hegemon body art was too powerful. This kind of recovery ability was far faster than others. However, the only thing Long Chen was thinking about at the moment was that ancient voice with its urgent tone. It really will be too late. Long Chen had never understood just how those pill god memories had suddenly appeared in his head. But the one thing he knew was that after he had merged with those pill god memories, his fate had completely changed. He would need to resolve this riddle step by step. But this riddle was too large and had surpassed Long Chen's imagination. Thinking about how that voice had continuously said time was running out, an indescribable sense of crisis filled him. Just as Long Chen was lost in thought, his body emitted a rumbling sound. Something in his body seemed to have been broken, and a powerful aura soared out of Long Chen's body. I've advanced. Long Chen was delighted. Suddenly, the weather of the world completely changed. Black thunderclouds gathered from all directions. Chapter 320 Running into Lightning Tribulation Again Translator Born to be it's finally come. Long Chen's expression was incomparably grave. Although he had been prepared, he had always had the wishful thinking that maybe last time had just been an accident. That wishful thinking instantly evaporated now. Before he had even finished advancing, the thunderclouds in the sky had already completely gathered and finished their preparations. Furthermore, heaven and earth seemed to have formed shackles and space had seemingly solidified. A powerful pressure exploded out, and a berserk will also suppressed Long Chen. That kind of will came from all of heaven and earth. Long Chen could instantly tell that he had been isolated. He was being rejected by the world. It was like he wasn't a part of this world, as if this world's loss had to mercilessly wipe him out. How could one person possibly face off against a whole world? As expected, you really are blind. There are so many idiots around me, but you don't make it hard for them instead targeting me. Fine, come at me. See whether or not I'm afraid of you. Long Chen was filled with endless fury. He could already sense that the world did not accept him. If you want to exterminate me, why would I need to be respectful and grateful to you? You want to kill me. Long Chen? Come try it. Boom. Long Chen activated his Feng Fu star to its max, continuously compressing his spiritual key. This was a kind of quantitative to qualitative change. For normal cultivators, at this time, the Danchen's spiritual key would compress, going from being a clear gaseous form to being a mist-like form. Compared to other people's advancement, the difficulty of Long Chen's advancement was probably a thousand times greater. That was because other people could compress their spiritual key within their Danchen. That kind of compression was extremely natural and focused. However, Long Chen had to rely on his Feng Fu star's energy to compress all the spiritual key that was spread throughout his meridians. If he had a true Danshan, then like others, he could compress his spiritual key at one point. Unfortunately, he didn't, so he had to undergo his compression throughout his entire body. It was a good thing that he had been stuck at the peak of blood condensation for so long, as his spiritual key had long since reached its highest limit. Once he had entered the Jiuli secret realm, that spiritual key also began to absorb the primordial air, allowing it to finally undergo a qualitative change. As his spiritual key began to change, Long Chen could see that it began to go from its gaseous state to many minuscule granules. As those granules appeared, Long Chen felt the strength of his spiritual key rapidly increasing. Long Chen felt his aura climbing higher and higher, and a pillar of key soared up into the sky from him. The ground beneath his feet began to crack, and he felt the transformation of his spiritual key reach a pinnacle. As his spiritual key transformed, the black clouds above his head also became increasingly thick and wide. Now those thunderclouds had covered a region of 3,000 miles around him. 
In an instant, the entire sky darkened. Within those dark thunderclouds, everything was deathly silent for a moment. But behind that calm was hidden a destructive will and a power that could destroy the nine heavens. As for the place that Long Chen was, the ground wasn't able to hold up to that terrifying pressure and began to sink. Fuck. So you really do want my life? In front of that terrifying power, Long Chen's face turned green from fear. Compared to that power, he was incredibly minute. Even a Xi'anchen expert would be destroyed in the face of this will. Long Chen thought of how the spirit world expert had warned him that the first heavenly punishment only targeted his will. That was why after the first heavenly punishment, Long Chen's will had far surpassed his peers. Even Xi'anchen experts were unable to completely overwhelm him with their wills. This time, that destructive will was over ten times stronger than last time, which allowed Long Chen to understand a certain possibility. If he hadn't had the success of passing the first heavenly punishment, allowing his will to become much stronger, then right now, just this will would be able to kill him. It was something that would cause a person's mind to collapse, turning them into an imbecile. Perhaps during each lightning tribulation, he would have to temper himself and benefit from it. Otherwise, there was no way he could pass the next lightning tribulation. Boom. Long Chen's spiritual key completed its transformation. A powerful wave of key soared up into the clouds. The silent sky immediately began to rumble. The sky full of clouds formed a huge vortex, with the center of that vortex pointed straight at Long Chen. Suddenly, a rain of purple lightning poured down at Long Chen, each thunderbolt around an inch thick. Fuck. Just the first wave is so ferocious. Long Chen cursed inside. He could sense that this heavenly punishment would be different from the last one. It would definitely not end with just one attack. He knew this kind of thunder force was unblockable with any weapon or tool. Or perhaps it would be more accurate to say that he wouldn't dare to use any such item. If he ended up using some kind of cheat method this time to pass, then once the next, more powerful lightning tribulation came, he would definitely die. Long Chen could only rely on his physical body to resist. At the same time, he thought of an extremely brazen idea. That torrential lightning caused the ground dozens of miles around Long Chen to sink and crack. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood. That thunder force was too terrifying and its berserk power instantly caused him an injury. This thunder force was different from the natural thunder force Long Chen had absorbed before. This was tribulation thunder force. To compare the two of them, the thunder force Long Chen had absorbed before was like a gentle sheep, while this thunder force was a berserk magical beast. This new thunder force bore through his skin, crazily wreaking havoc on his body. But Long Chen actually allowed that violet thunder force to run amok in his body. He was using his own thunder force to devour it. But Long Chen was surprised that as soon as his thunder force met that tribulation thunder force, let alone devouring it, it actually fled the instant it encountered it. Instead, the tribulation thunder force was like berserk dogs, devouring his own thunder force. Long Chen was stunned. This was too terrifying. That thunder force he had raised for so long was unable to endure a single blow. It really had been arrogant of Long Chen to hope that this thunder force could help him cross this heavenly tribulation. If this continues, I'll definitely die. I have to refine this tribulation lightning. Spiritual defensive armor. Long Chen's spiritual strength and spiritual key crazily surged out. His spiritual key formed a set of armor around his body. This was an earth class battle skill that Tang Wan'er had made him learn. Tang Wan'er had said it was always good to have more skills. Learning an extra ability couldn't harm him. Tang Wan'er had bought this battle skill for herself. And then taught it to Long Chen. Equivalent to cheating the system. Ah, it really was impossible to change a woman's nature. But at this moment, Long Chen was extremely grateful to Tang Wan'er. Although this layer of armor was unable to completely block the invasion of this thunder force, it was at least able to isolate a portion of it outside his body. That was enough for him. Long Chen was planning on using his body to capture the thunder force that had already invaded his body. This spiritual armor would keep him somewhat isolated from the thunder force outside so he could focus entirely on that. Be refined, roared Long Chen, forming a hand seal. His spiritual strength poured into his body, crazily attacking the thunder force. In this respect, Long Chen had plenty of experience. This was how he had done it several times before. However, this time wasn't entirely the same. Previously he had only refined ordinary thunder force, while now he was attempting to refine tribulation thunder force that contained a destructive will. It was almost a hundred times more difficult. This time, Long Chen really did go all out. He didn't hold back the slightest bit of his spiritual strength. This tribulation wouldn't give him too much time. 
He had to subdue this thunder force as fast as possible. The tribulation thunder force that was inside his body was isolated from the outside body. Now it was as if he had closed the doors and was beating a pack of wild dogs. However, these dogs were really too ferocious. Even without further reinforcements, they still refused to submit. They continuously collided with his spiritual strength within his meridians, causing bursts of pain throughout his body. This still isn't good enough. This is turning into a battle of attrition. Long Chen was extremely anxious inside. According to this speed, he would need at least two hours to subdue them. But the lightning tribulation above his head would not give him that much time. When the second wave of thunder force crashed down on him, it would be even stronger than this first wave. At that time, there was no way his spiritual armor would be able to block that much thunder force. Once more thunder force flooded his body, all his effort would be wasted. I have to think of something. As he used his spiritual strength to suppress the thunder force from devastating his body, he was also examining any changes in it. Aya, I really am stupid. Long Chen suddenly noticed that his original thunder force was hiding within his blood, not daring to come out. Boom. Long Chen used his spiritual strength to drive the tribulation thunder force into his blood. The instant that thunder force entered his blood, his original thunder force runes began to flee, as if a cat had been thrown into a pile of mice. As if by instinct, the tribulation thunder force went around devouring the fleeing thunder force. In other words, it was consuming Long Chen's original thunder force runes. After it swallowed some of them, Long Chen noticed that the tribulation thunder force's berserk nature had mellowed out slightly. By the time all his original thunder force runes had been devoured, the tribulation thunder force had formed a kind of warm affinity for his blood. As expected, if you want to capture prey, the best way is to use bait, laughed Long Chen. His original thunder force runes had been nourished by Long Chen's blood for so long. Now that this tribulation thunder force had absorbed them, they also formed a dependence on Long Chen's blood, and they no longer resisted. Long Chen took advantage of this to hook his spiritual strength into the tribulation thunder force, and found he could now easily control it. He had finally succeeded. Long Chen was filled with excitement. He began to slowly reduce the spiritual armor's power, allowing some new thunder force to gradually enter. He used his newly controlled thunder force to devour the raw thunder force. Long Chen was delighted to see that under this continuous devouring, his thunder force was becoming much stronger, and the rate at which it devoured more thunder force increased. It was just like rolling a ball of snow. The larger it was, the faster it would collect more snow. Violet thunder force runes now formed within Long Chen's blood. Boom. Just as Long Chen was greedily absorbing that tribulation lightning, rumbling came from the sky and the torrent of lightning faded. Taking its place was a completely straight pillar of lightning that smashed down on Long Chen.